Sup, sup, sup. Morning, peeps. Fun one today. Short deck. Not long deck. Not to be confused with long deck. Short deck is what we're playing today. Not long deck, but short deck. Deck. Am I saying panned? Pan Are you saying panned? Yeah, all right. I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay, let's put some music on. Here we go. Little music. All right, we're going to explain what the heck is happening today. You guys are going to be like, what the? What is happening? What is this game? This makes no sense. I'm confused. Yada, yada. Hopefully, we've got a setup where if you, if you haven't, you can check out my video on Twitter, sort of giving an explanation of what the hell we're doing here today, because we're playing short deck. Short deck will not have blinds like you're used to, you know, like one half a blind, one big blind. No, it's just antis, essentially. Well, I guess you could describe it another way, where everybody's the small blind, and then the big blind, the button is the the button is the big blind. Okay, so it's similar to like everybody ante. So we start. Well, let's we'll have big blinds. So it's starting stack. The entirety of the stack is 60,000 in chips. Okay? The first blind is 200. Or the first ante. Why am I excusing? The ante's 200 to start. But because it's such a high variance game, y'all, we're going to do what we can, which is use the three stack model, right? Where you basically can choose to hold chips back, right? So your 5K entry gets you 60,000. But you can put 20 on the table. If you lose it, you put your other 20 on the table. You lose it, you put your other 20 on the table, right? So you get three chances, essentially, like rebuys, right? And then after a certain point, let me see, after a certain point, then your rebuys must go into play. I believe that's after the end of late reg. Would make sense. So that's level 15. And let's see, the blinds are going up every 15 minutes. So my buddy Phil Ivey, if you guys know Phil Ivey, just this morning, over there in Europe, in Cyprus, he won himself a short deck. He wins short deck tournaments all the time. I talked to him a little bit this morning about today's event because he's a guru. He's putting a lot of work in short deck. He's, you know, he's, Phil Ivey's been over there in Asia for quite a while. And, uh, you know, they called it six plus or whatever. So he really put a lot of work into this game um, and has a lot of experience in it. So good source. I've asked him about hands before because, um, you know, I'm new to it as well. But I, like I said, the game really speaks to me in terms of the way that it sets up for my I'm just check, okay for my strengths really because it's really a post flop game where you're going to get to play a lot of hands right you get to play a lot of hands pre flop now what do you fold right because as I said earlier this is short deck which means there's only well you take out the deuces threes fours and fives there are none the lowest card is a six okay so the six is essentially the deuce right and as I mentioned quickly you know flushes beat full houses an ace can be used to make a uh, ace, ace can be used as a five for a straight. So you, if you have ace six and come seven, eight, nine, that's a straight. Um, but in terms of like what are quality hands, well, obviously, okay, we're going to use one stack of 20,000. Start the tournament, one stack. Okay, our table has popped up. Let me set that up for y'all. Get that set up. All right, done. And let's do that again. Boom. OBS is weird, like, sometimes. Okay, there we go. And that is our table. That is going to be our table for the day, so, or at least for now. So, yeah, what hands do you play? Well, what you'll find is because the equities run really, really close, Broadway hands, like Queen-Jack, King-Queen, Ten-Jack, those are really fucking good. Especially suited, right? If you can make flushes and deep spots, those are very, very good hands. Jack-10 suited against Ace-King is a coin flip, 50-50. Ace 10 suited against kings is 54.46 for the kings, right? So the, look at, I mean, that's crazy, right? How, how much the equities run close. Or we are in first position here. Oh, this is weird how they do it. They pulled the Andes in. Okay, we have 9 6 off. That's one of the worst hands you can have, right? Two low cards, right? So, yeah, so you see how they're doing it here? They pull in all the, all the, all the big blinds first. All the, all, all the Andes are already in. So you Andied one, and then the button has already got one chip in. And you see most of the people at the table have put their stacks. I'm going to actually use, should we use chips for this? Yeah, so you can see. It doesn't really matter much to me. 
I think maybe this tournament I'll go with chips versus big blinds or, or what or antis. Ninety nine doesn't say antis, it says big blinds, but I guess that's true because that is. All right, high value. Good luck. All right, so we have a so basically there's gonna be a lot of limping, okay. Especially from early positions. Like when we're in first position, we're probably, if we do play, we're probably, especially this deep, limping our entirety of a range. Aces, ace, king, kings, queens, you know, 10 jack suited, all that. Um, we're limping all of it in, uh, in the first position. Now, later in the tournament or when we get short shaped or something like that, we'll have some raises. But really, we limp a lot. All right, who do I know? I don't know any of these players at the table. So none of them have a big thing. They're probably short decks. Specialist types. We got 37 to start. Very nice. So we're going to have fun with this, guys. Every board is going to look like, wow, look at that. King, Jack, 10, 8, 6, all high card. No, there's no deuces, 3s, 4s, and 5s. Flushes are hard to make, right? Because there's only 9 of a suit. you got to hit 5 of them. A lot easier to make a full house. So in this spot, 37 BBs. I mean, you know what? I'm going to play in real chips. That's fun for you guys, right? To see the chips and everything. Okay, let's do that. Okay, we are the button right now with 6-7 off. Remember? Pretty much the worst hand of the deck, right? That's like a deuce and a three. <laughs> so far, we've had 9-6 off and 7-6 off. I was going to say, oh, we play every hand in this, and we've gotten bad hands. So you see everyone's just folding right now. He just limps for the 200, the idiot. <laughs> That's his name, okay? I didn't call him an idiot. From Montenegro, the idiot. 1,500 winnings here. All right, so now we have an option, just like we, we win the big one, and we're just going to check. And now we've got... So that ace is a five as well, okay? So that's fucked up for your brain. So we have five, six, seven, eight straight draw. We don't really want to go with that, especially because he's overbending the pot, right? So we, even if we hit the nine, he could have queen, ten, ten, seven. So it's just the fold, and we'll take a look. So he overbet the flop. That was interesting, right? But that's going to be play tricks on your brain, right? When you see that ace eight and you're like, oh, wait a minute. Six, five, six, seven, eight. I had a straight draw. All right, so everyone folds me with 10 eight. If they do, I'm just going to limp. Position is kind of powerful in this game as well. But with this price out here, like it's 200 to win 1400. I'm not going to fold 10 eight. All right, let's call 200 bucks in the cutoff. Five high has the option now. He can go ahead and raise. And now we've not got anything, but bluffing is a thing, and we could bluff here, right? So if nobody has an ace, they'll just fold. So it's probably worth a stab. Let's go with third pot. Okay, we are stabbing as a bluff for third pot here. And obviously, I expect, I mean, listen, you, I guess you could have like six, seven, seven, eights decide to peel for a gut shot, but that's not a good idea. If, Kobo, if Kopoba doesn't have an ace, probably just folds right here. And if not, well, we have eight, nine, ten, and that sounds like nothing, but okay, so now we're, we're fucked. We just lose. There's very little chance that he's calling here with worse than an ace. Like, was he slow playing a pair of queens, kings? No. He could have... Six, seven, seven, eight. Well, we beat that now. Go ahead and check back. All right. Now we don't beat six, seven, but he doesn't have six, seven. He bets we just fold. He's got an ace. Such is life. Interesting. He check called this flop. All right. 33K in earnings. We took a stab. There's a lot of bluffing opportunities in short deck. You wouldn't think so because, like, there's so many hands people could have. But, all right, we're not going to call this one even though we're getting quite a good price, right? He has an ace, as you can see. Voila. And now we say to him, nice hand. Nice hand, obviously. All right, now we have ace-eight suited. And remember, flushes are big. So this is ace-eight suited and essentially five-eight suited, right? I'm going to go ahead and limp. It's essentially ace-eight suited and five-eight suited. So if it comes six, seven, nine, we have a straight. All right, we've got a big raise here from the button. Pretty big sizing. Yeah, we're going to fold this hand here. 
ace eight suited, not quite strong enough against uh, a button raise when we're out of position. If we have ace ten suited or any like queen jack suited, ten jack, even not even suited, just fucking any of those hands. <laughs> he says few. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna limp again. Pretty tight table so far. Limp with the king ten. Anytime you get two Broadway cards, even King-10, which is not the best one, certainly worth the play. All right, look at this. The buttons are just going nuts right now. Buttons are just taking the money. Limp, 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 button, bomb it. Big raises from the button. 10x, essentially, right? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to decide if I want to play in big blinds or money. Or antes, whatever you want to call it. All right, so we got a fold here. I haven't had any really good hands, which is crazy, even though it's only been, what, five hands. All right. All right, we're gonna focus on the poker today because it's short deck, it's unique, it's interesting. So notice short, short is coming in with Pretty sizable raises. He's making it 10x every time when there's limps from the cutoff. So we had the limp from Koboba. And now it's up to A. Lee. Notice everybody kept their rebuy chips behind. So they have like that little, if you see like next to my stack, there's that chip stack with the number two. What happens when you click on it? All right, you can add more if you want. Not going to do that going to keep keep our chips behind like i said i sold some pieces to you guys in the client here on gg poker so play it straight so he's betting it all twelve thousand into 18 saying he's got aces i didn't see what happened on the flop let me see i'm gonna want oh i had what did i have here oh, eight six nothing all right what was this hand here so, okay, so king-jack suited is a very strong hand. It's way stronger than it would be in regular hold'em. So on the flop was check, call, check, call, check, fold. Wow. He's trying to say he had aces, basically. So this is a limp, king-jack suited. This one we would call a 10x raise, for sure. Playing deep. All right, now we have top pair, we have a gut shot. We also have a check, 2K in the pot. We have a check call, right? Got backdoor spades, but again, flushes are very difficult to make. Um, you know, queen makes us a straight, but a queen gives us like, you don't, it's hard to get any, it's hard to win any chips that way. How to play it, Dan? How to play it, how to play what? But we will call if Kopopa bets. So he's betting half pot. I will call the half pot bet. All right. We don't want to see anybody behind raise because that's going to be a straight. Kopopa just limped the button, right? So ace queen's probably not there. Ace queen could be there. Seven eight, goofy hand there. All right, we're going to check. It's oh, and what am I talking about? Ace queen, queen jack. Well, even Queen Jack is very unlikely for him to have because Queen Jack from the button after a few limps is probably a hand he's going to raise a decent amount of the time. But he could have Queen Jack. We do have a Jack, so we block some of that. Blockity, blockity, blickity, blockity. All right, he's betting big. He's betting big. 24. Tough spot, tough spot. So he's like got two pair here a lot. If he has two pair, we have a ton of outs. Well, not really a ton, but ah, whatever. We'll just fold. Let's see. Ten on the river. Okay, so we would have had kings and jacks. Kings and tens with a jack, which counterfeited king nine. That's about it. Ace king suited. Now this is one where we will poop it. We will pop it after some limbs. We got the button. We got position. We got power. All right, we're gonna pop it up. We're not gonna raise as big as these guys do. They're making it uh, 2,000. I'm gonna go for seven and a half-ish. 
I don't mind getting some action here. Um, I don't love... I mean, again, that's the cool thing about this game in terms of, you know, how many people actually know how to play it um, in terms of sizings and different things like that. I feel like 10x after the limps is a little... Looks. I mean, I guess it makes sense when you're this deep potentially, but I don't know. We're not. We're not doing that. All right. So we got nine ten. We're gonna call again. These nine ten ten jack type hands, pretty strong because they hit a lot of freaking boards, right? And there you go. We have open ended straight draw. We need a queen or a seven. The queen puts us in danger against king ten. The Ten of Hearts, which is whatever. We're gonna call, though, one time. This hand. If a heart comes, we could potentially go bonkers and bluff it, because we do have the Ten of Hearts. Very, very difficult to make a flush. Okay, there's the Ten, there's the Seven. So we have the, we basically have the nuts, pretty much. I mean, the only thing that beats us is the flush. We have the Ten of Hearts. That's very unlikely that anyone has that, right? I'm going to go with 40%. Okay. Hmm. All right, we've got over our starting stack now. 9-7 off. Oh, we're going with Cobra Kai today. Cobra Kai, no mercy. Strike first, strike hard. No mercy. Cobra Kai. If you want to buy these shirts, Cobra Kai, Rocky shirts, uh, Bloodsport, Muhammad Ali, all the coolest stuff is at contendersclothing.com. If you go to contendersclothing.com, you want to buy one of these. Oh, wow. A6 just got it in. All right. Up against three jacks. Needs a king. Nope. Four jacks. Okay. That happens in this game. Quads. Very nice. Um, what was I saying? So... Yeah, so contendersclothing.com. Use Kid Poker 20 and you'll save 20% off as a promo code. What happened here? All right, so I'm going to see what happened. Did he just jam? Now we have the Jack 10 that everyone talks about, right? So we got full, full, under the gun raise. What? Button? Wow, he called? I'm going to limp here. What happened in his hand? Under the gun fold. Middle position. What? Preflop, fold, idiot call, fold, 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 under the gun, under the gun. It wasn't under the gun. Why did they call it under the gun? Weird. Okay, the positions just are weird in the, in the printout. All right, so this is actually a hand we're going to play. Jack 10 off. Okay? Certainly going to play this one. And now we've got a king or a nine, which is actually a shit ton of outs. We're not so worried about flushes in this game. Like, you know, in PLO, if you see two hearts, you're like, oh, no, you know, you don't have a heart. It doesn't really matter that much in this game. We're not folding this hand. King or nine is eight outs, but remember, eight outs out of how many cards? There's only 32 damn cards, and we know five of them, so that's 27. So we've got eight out of 27 cards to hit. That's a lot of freaking cards with two to come, right? So it's like a huge draw in a way. Yeah, so eight out of the... And again, of course, we could lose to flushes, but, you know, such is life. I mean, it's very unlikely, right? Uh, super unlikely. Oh, my God. Uh, three ways should I gamble here with this 10-jack? I think so. I think it's worth it. Eight outs. Getting up. So, like, one, two. Hold on. Eight. Three, seven. No. Hold on, eight. Two in a bit. Will I be getting two in a bit? No. I don't know. I, I, it's hard to know if the guy behind calls. If the guy behind calls, then it would be worth it. Ace, ten. Queen, queen. Okay. There's a seven. And king! Fucking shit! We would have made the nuts. Stupid. I'm trying to think. Should I fucking play there? Let's see. Queen, queen, ace, ten. Well, I didn't know if Ali... I guess I could probably assume that he's going to come. And then we're getting the right price. Let me just do some math here. Let me see. So, 2, 3, 9, 7, 28, 
Where am I going? Alright, so this is going to be a limp. Lines are up. Yeah, the fold was correct, but geez, it was close. What do we have here? Jams? All right. Not going to call with the uh, Queen 9 suited, but we do have a call from A. Lee. Gamble, gamble. This is the, we get it in in this game, right? Ace, king, ace, queen suited. And there's the ace. He needs a queen. He needs a diamond. Wow. Again, very hard to make flushes. Oh, we would have won. 9-9. Nine, nine. <laughs> Any two can win. We would have won both those hands. I'm going to fold this one. What do the blinds do here? 200. They go to 250. Let's see. 250, 300, 350, 400, 500. Okay, so they go up. It's reasonable. All right, we get, we get some all-ins in this one. You see, people just fucking get it in, right? Play with chips, why not? All right, this is the one of the worst hands you can have. Jack six off. You can't make a straight. Do It's like a do seven, basically, it's, right? Like even six ten is better, because six ten could at least hit seven, eight, nine. Someone said, why aren't the emotes my face anymore? They are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are my face. You got all kinds of faces. Oh wait, what did I get wrong? Yeah, it's 36 cards. 36 minus five, 31. So yeah, it was definitely a fold. What am I thinking? Why did I do three, four, five, sixteen cards? Yeah, thirty-six. So I was doing the math wrong, but luckily I made the right fold anyway. I had eight out of thirty-one cards, which isn't quite enough. We needed like three to one. All right, we're gonna limp here. Suited, not the best hand in the world, but suited in the middle. Look, you're always getting a really good price to limp, right? So there's, you're getting five, six, seven. All right, now we have a six or a jack. The jack loses to ace king, but we have, we block a straight here. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna use a prodding bet here, forty percent. We're gonna bluff this one through. This is the plan, anyway. All right. Well, now we have the, the ten high straight. If he has jack nine, we just lose, and it could be a thing. Jack nine could certainly be a thing. All right, now king nine we lose to, diamonds we lose to. No reason to bet this one. I'm gonna check here, and if he bets, we're gonna call. Only lose, we don't. He doesn't have ace king ever because he raises from the button 100. percent So we're not worried about that. So king nine, what would he call king nine? Just fucking yolo. Could be, but that's very unlikely against two thirds pot. So we're good. You know, again flushes. Fuck. I mean, you can't fold. Be like, oh, you might have a flush. Very rare. We, yeah, he might bluff this. He might turn something into a bluff here. He's thinking for a while. Definitely not folding. We are not folding. Queen Jack. Okay. So he almost. Was he thinking about value betting or bluffing? I'm not sure. Sweet. Okay. Picked up a nice little pot there. Now we got the ace queen. I'm going to limp again. Five handed table now. This is one you could raise with. I, like I said, I typically this deep, I don't raise from, you know, the first two positions. But five handed, four handed, you, you need to be doing that a little bit more. It's not a great flop for us against the blind hand here who's going to smash that board. Check. This is going to be a check fold. Okay, 
eight nine off under the gun yeah we'll go ahead and limp why the hell not why the hell not five-handed again you're getting six to one you're always getting a good price hmm. all right now we just fold if I had 10 jack, I would play. 9, 10, probably. Fold unless it's suited. How deep are we all now? 100 bays. Yeah, I won't be doing as much chatting today because there's a lot going on here with the short deck people. So we're not going to have chit chats about. Random stuff as much. It's a good buy in here. As you can see, we've got 45 entries so far. That number will rise, of course. We've got plenty of late reg. Only four hours left of late reg. We'll talk about this later when we get there, but there's some really messed up ICM spots in short deck. Like I played in a short deck event, uh, I think it was at the U.S. Poker Open. And it was right on the bubble, five-handed, paid four spots. And I was second in chips. Um, and because the equities run so close, that allows the chip leader, which at this point was David Peters, to just do everything he wants and like handcuffs me, in a sense, if I'm you know thinking about ICM. So I actually had a hand where I had two kings, okay? We're five-handed, I said, pays four spots. I'm sitting with 1.8 million in chips. He's got 3.8. And the guy has one 600 and 300K, like 20 big, 20 annies. I'm under the gun with kings. I limp. Another player limps. David Peters goes all in. So I limp for 30k. He makes it 1.8, right? Of kings. And I found out later, because it's a really interesting spot. I was going for it. I wasn't playing. Because ICM-wise, you, you, fold, you fold the kings. You're supposed to just fucking fold the kings, which allows David to do whatever the fuck he wants, right? Which kind of sucks. So Jason Kuhn, who I talked to about the hand, he's like, oh, you're supposed to open ship that. I was like, really? Open ship from under the gun there in that spot? But yeah, because it's such a, a broken game when it comes to ICM, like, the short sex just cannot play, you know? And the guy who's second in chips just can't play against the chip leader because it's burning money. And I burned money because I was trying to win. How do you adapt your range while playing short deck? Well, I mean... Like you said, you're just gonna do a lot more limping, so you're playing a lot. Look, we played we played the most hands at the table, 61%. I'm a loosey-goosey kind of guy. But you're gonna see the V-pips, you know, be around 50% or more, maybe. All right, we got the queen jack in the cutoff. If it falls to us, we will actually raise this one because there's only one player left behind. Oh, we got Justin Bonomo joining us. All right, I'm going to raise anyway. To 5x. You know what? I'm just going to switch to big blinds, guys. Just easier. Just easier. Okay, now we've got a pair of jacks with a queen kicker. It's like an okay flop. Going for 40%. 40% with jacks and a queen. Obviously vulnerable to it. I mean, if you check raises here, you could have a lot of hands. Jack 10, pocket sixes, pocket tens is reasonable. You could have a better jack. Well, I don't know. I, don't know. I think we're just fucking good here a lot. Really? Okay, could be a bunch of draws here. And yeah, we're not folding that. Eight, nine, queen, nine, yeah, let's go. 
Okay, there's a six on the turn. So unless he had jack six or ten, jack six or ten six don't play, right? He's not playing those hands. So the only card, only hand we're worried about is jack ten specifically. We have a jack. We can still catch a queen, which is three outs, which is significant. Three out of, you know, whatever, like 30 left. So we'll just call it off here. He has king queen here. Sometimes queen nine, eight nine, just pure bluffs. Fuck it. Good call. We'd be getting two to one. All right. What do you got? Jack 10. He has the jack 10. Okay. So we need a queen now. And that's not it. Okay. We are on to... See, this is a game, the game where you can just get it in. A decent amount. He had a very pretty hand. The jack 10 suited. And now we put another stack in. All right. Put another stack in. 80 bigs. And we got ace-king suited. All right. We're going to raise this one. And this would be some... A hand will get in pre-flop as well. Call from Lee. If he limp raises, we're just going to get it in. Okay. Probably have the same hand a decent amount of the time. Ace, king. But if he has kings, aces, whatever, it's not that, you know. Oh, look, he has a 7 8 suited. Okay, cool. Wee, let's gamble. All right, he has the best hand right now, but not really. We are still the favorite, or we were. Now we're 2 to 1 dogs. All right, we need an ace, king, or a jack. That's a lot of cards. We need paint. Okay, it's paint. So that's good news. And there's the king. Voila. D makes double. He's nice. That was kind of a crazy play there from short up. With 7 8 suited. Like I could see doing that with, you know, 9 10, 10 jack suited, but 7 8 suited is a little suspect, as they say. These king 6 suited, so they look, you know, nice because they're suited, but again, yeah. Well, I guess after two limps, I could play. I'm not going to play this one. Again, flushes are very, very hard to hit. So a king and a 6 is too far apart. You don't have any straight potential. You have bad kicker issues. 6 is the worst. 6 is like a deuce, you know? So what are we doing here? We got, basically, so we started with, uh, we have our starting stack again. We're up, okay? Because of the way that it's set up. We started with 60K, right? So we have 42K plus the 20 behind. So we are ahead, even though we lost the flip or we lost one with the, with the Jack Queen. But I promise that Jack Queen was definitely a call, okay? In that spot, definitely. The six pairing on the turn oddly helped us, even though we didn't have anything, because he doesn't have jack six or ten six. It's just not a thing. You can't have that hand. Unless he's super goofy. All right, we're getting it all in, every hand. Ace jack, ace ten. Oh, there's the ace ten. Every the best hand never wins. Right? It's like 50, everything's 50-50. Such a crazy fucking game. So crazy. It's so crazy. Let me see what that hand was when he had the when I had the ace king. Does it show? It doesn't show. Let's see. No, it doesn't show there. Okay. So yeah, you're gonna see a whole bunch of getting it in. Getting it in. We got the short deck happening. You got a Grammy over on Twitch. Like I said, I'm not going to be involved too much with the chat today. How many bullets are we prepared to fire? Well, we fire all of them, if need be. The cool thing about the setup is, you know, for your initial buy in the 5K, you essentially get three bullets, right? We're on our second of that, right? But um, even then, if you were completely out of bullets, you get two reentries. So essentially what that looks like is it looks like a total of nine. All right, Bonimo just jamming. This is the thing, right? Gamble, gamble, wee, wee, 70 blinds. He's, he's trying to pick up for 76. He's trying to pick up uh, 11. And again, any two cards can be any cards. You see, and this is crazy, right? All in, all in, all in. Totally different than Holden. All right, queen 10 suited. Look, that's a decent hand from Bonomo. Queen 10. Now it's like, what? He's, he's a favorite with queen 10. On that flop, he's a favorite. He needs a queen 10 or eight. Now on the turn, he's a two to one dog. And he missed. Oh my God. But you notice on a six, seven, 10, 6, 7, 9 with queen 10. The fact that he can catch an 8, 10, or a queen versus the ace-king 
makes him a favorite. Crazy, right? Absolutely nuts. Okay, we're going to fold this one. Fun game, right? High variance, lots of gamble, as I said. There are spots where, you listen, you just got to get the chips in the middle. What we're going to do today, too, by the way, because we have a big one on Sunday, okay? We have a big one on Sunday. So I'm going to sell at no markup. Look, we've got queens against jack-10, all in, pre. And the jack-10 has got two pair, and he wins. <laughs> Such a nutty, nutty game. We're going to sell pieces to the 25K high roller on Sunday, and I'll do that within the chat i will let you know when i'm doing that it'll be within this stream at some point so stay tuned for that you guys will have first dibs you'll be able to buy one percent for 250 dollars. you can also buy cheaper than that what do we got 20 bigs all right i can fold that for 20. oh what did i have all right it was so we will sell to the uh, 25k i'm gonna sell 25 percent of my action for the peeps which ends up being about six thousand dollars worth of stuff right so 10-7 suited. Okay, this would just be a limp with the 10-7 suited. So yeah, we will at some point. I'll let you know. I'll give you guys the heads up so you guys can jump in there and buy. 1% uh, for 250 bucks. I said, all right, not calling 9x. 1% for 250 bucks. All right, we're just getting all in. Yo. Especially during this phase where everyone's putting in like a third of their stack. You just see the stacks just get in. Look at this shit. Bonkers game, huh? What do you think? Bonkers or what? Mm -hmm. All in, all in. This guy, it'd be, re it'd be really strange to see him. Well, I guess they are they're deep, him and Lay. What is he going to fold here after raising? Nothing. Yeah, just get it in. Whoa, fuck yeah. Booyah, kasha. Let's go. Ace, king, queen, ten. King, jack suited. It's like fucking coin flips around. Jack is ahead right now. Jack is the stones. And an eight will win for Kopka. Koboba. And a jack. He's just made jacks full eights. Look at that fucking pot. Woo! Ooh, baby. <laughs> 500 antis. Big blinds, whatever you want to call them. That's a nice little stack. Nice little stack. But again, King Jack suited. I told you those broadways are pretty, pretty strong. Suited broadways. I know the game feels a little bit like bingo. Right, because a lot of that craziness, but it's there's a lot there's there's a lot of skill still. It's just right now, um, because of the you know the third stack third stack thing. So we got what is that? Oh, all in for ten bigs. Lee is just not folding. So our V pip right now about fifty percent. We got Queen Jack against the Ace Nine. Needs an Ace or a Nine, which is eighteen percent, right? The Ace or the Nine. The equities are all different in short deck, and there's the nine. You see, this game is just, just one of those things. So Queen Jack looks like, oh, why would you? Go? It's not like regular holding. Queen Jack's a good hand. Ace ten. I'm going to uh, limp this one. I could just fucking open jam this one too. Five handed. Yeah, I'll just limp it. Well, three players behind us. I'm gonna fold this ace ten. Mm, ace ten's dominated by, by like a lot of hands he jammed there with, like ace jack, ace queen, even like. I'm gonna fold this one too. Even uh, ace jack, ace queen, even like queen ten, king ten. You know. Oh no, never mind. We dominate those. Ha! 
Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking we dominated. We got dominated by both, but no. All right, we got the limp from Bonomo. He's not really going to be folding there, right? Getting six to one. Kopoba says, boom, eat it. Someone asks, Dapper Dave says, I would imagine ASEX suited would be really strong pre-flop in this game. Yeah, kind of, kind of, uh, kind of, yeah. But I still, you know, like you still would probably prefer like queen jack, 10 jack suited type hands over like ace, ace seven suited, ace six suited. Ace jack suited, ace queen suited, those are all good. All right, let's go. Just stick it all in. Called. Wow, okay. Hmm. All right. It's 50. All right. Well, that's a great flop for us. All right. We still could lose because it's never over in this game. You know what I mean? He's got 15%. All right. Queen's full. Hey, hey. How to do now? Oh, he had a queen also. Well, very nice. So Jack 10 suited he had again and limped, limped against us. This is a bad hand. 9 6 off. Ooh we got a new player, Oasis. Okay, we got a limp. I'm actually going to fold. So we have 54K plus 20. So we got 74K from our start. Bottom of shipping game. You guys enjoying this? Or are you like, wow, is this stupid or what? Queens against ace jack. And look at the odds. We're now on the flop 71, 29. Now he's got 18% equity with the ace jack. That's a club, could be a jack. Nope. Okay. Queens win. Sometimes. Don't like this hand. Not a big fan. So we flop the ace. Whoop de doo, right? Whoop de doo, right? No, one percent of the twenty-five thousand dollar buy-in, which is on Sunday, will cost two hundred and fifty dollars. If I'm not. My math is not off. Yeah, so 250 bucks. But again, if you want to buy one tenth of a percent, you can do that for 25 bucks, whatever. And again, I charge no markup for fun. We will stream it on Sunday. Having said that, on Sunday, there's also the day two of the Colossus, but I'm not even sure I'm going to go for it, right? Because like I didn't even play the Colossus seat this morning. I'm not going to play the one today. Um, I really want to be able to focus on the 25K and not have distractions. And also... From a mental perspective, the grind, like I was really tired after that last stream on Sunday, playing all these all week. I need a little bit of a mental break from those. So I don't really, I'm not, I mean, I think again, the Colossus is going to be very difficult to win with so many people. It is a huge guarantee. So I will play them. Um, but this is going to be a busy week because we got this short deck today. So not playing it. Then tomorrow, probably play the main event. All things considered as of right now. David Randall from my fantasy hockey leaf saying the thieves suck. No, they don't. You know that. You know my cheap thieves are good. It's solid. Um, so yeah, tomorrow will probably be the main event. And then Thursday is like a six max, $800 one. Maybe that day we'll play a couple Colossuses as well. What's this last hand here? Ace King against King Jack. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Um, so yeah, then Thursday would probably be a good day for that. Friday could be, and we got Saturday, we have like a monster stack. So yeah, there'll be some days ahead. Is it the Justin Bonomo? It is. Real name. How many players do we have in this shindig right now? 54, one has been eliminated. 
but probably rebought, I would imagine. Kopoba, did he not rebuy? Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he's back in, of course. You don't see people play a 5K like this and not, all right, we're actually gonna probably, maybe wanna call this. Let's see, 53K, hold on. 55 bigs. Under the gun jam is gonna be ace queens. Oh, this is interesting. I'm gonna play tight. There's the queen. Interesting that he jammed there from another gun. Okay. Ace King's gonna be a hand we get it in with. If somebody limps, we raise. If okay, we're just gonna raise. Go ahead, Bonimo, do it. Actually, let's just ship it in. All in. Ace King. Bonimo thinking. All right, we'll take it. Again, dead money, take it. Ace King, you're like, oh, but you had Ace King. But yeah, <laughs> they have Jack 10, it's like a coin flip, right? So there's gonna be a lot of spots where you just get it in. Especially right now when there's re-entry. I mean, uh, stacks held behind. What does short deck mean? Short deck means the deck is missing deuces, threes, fours, and fives. So it's just sixes and up. And a couple other key things. Strategy rule changes. Did I hear the Charlie Watts of the Stones passed? I don't know who that is. You mean the Rolling Stones? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know my music. So when will we do that? I'm guessing maybe when I come back from Maybe on the break or something along those lines. I'll get set up and I'll do the... Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. As I said, we're going to sell for the 25K. What happened here with this king's hand? I'll pay attention. Is that all in pre? Call. That's fine. Gotta watch. All right, we got the queen 10, gonna limp. Full shoal. Plays crazy until after the re-entries. And then after the re-entries, we're getting a lot of like, stuff I don't understand. <laughs> a lot of Asian symbol, symbol stuff. Okay, so what do we got here? Queen 10, king makes a straight. I'm gonna go ahead and check. <clears throat> king makes a straight, but also eight nine. I know it's not, what about eight nine? You're worried about eight nine? Yeah, it's a thing. There's the eight. Now we need a. Now we're gonna bet. Big. Nobody has an ace. I win, right? I think. You know. I mean, they could could go out call with draws. Lee called. All right, he could have a draw. There's another fucking eight. Uh, can I bluff this guy here in this spot? He could have nine ten, right? We beat nine ten. So we've got aces and eights with a queen. We beat nine ten. We beat some low straight draws as well, so I might actually check fucking call this one. I know it sounds crazy. He doesn't have a king. Like, so, he's not gonna bet a jack, right? Not betting aces and jacks. Not betting an eight, probably. So he either has an ace, or he's got nine, 10, six, seven, seven, nine. We've got aces and eights with a queen kicker. I'm gonna call this one, I think. A. Lee's been frisky. Yeah, I'm gonna call you with the queen high. Let's see. All right, that uh, that's good. <laughs> you win with the frickin' ace jack, very nice. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna limp jam this one. He says, ha ha, all right. Okay, I'm gonna limp and then hopefully somebody behind goes jams. Like we got Bonimo on the button with 68. He, you know, he's, he's a guy that's willing to jam in this spot with a hand that he's supposed to, so. Go ahead, jam it in there, Justin. Do it, do it, just do it. Do it, do it, do it. He did it, okay. 
So we'll be getting it in probably good against him. Ace king against ace king. All right, whatever. Chop it up. Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Split pot. So that queen high call, you're all like, what? Makes sense, though, I think. Because if you think of his range, right? Um, it's not going to be an eight. It's not going to be just a jack. So he's going to have to have an ace that didn't bet flop and didn't raise turn because he was already nutted, of course. We know that. And that's that's his value range. That's it. Right? There's nothing else. But, I know, no, no, we block some straights, of course. You know, we block, uh, you know, with the 10 and the queen. But there's enough, I think, where getting, like, more than 2 to 1, you can go ahead and call with the queen high. A little ambitious, but whatever. I think it's the amount of combos that are... Yeah, no, I think it's fine. What do we have? Chips, 47. <laughs> so I'm going to post that package relatively soon, I think. And I, I, the, the, the looper thing in my head where I do things five minutes in the future that you guys see always messes me up. So when I tell you to go do it, yeah, I, 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 okay, I got it. Very soon, very soon I'm going to be posting an uh, uh, opportunity to buy a piece of me in the 25K this Sunday. All right, 9, 10 of spades. This is a pretty good hand. Pretty, pretty good hand. Suited, connected, all the things against a couple limps. This is going to be a jam. Yeah. Boom. Let's do it. We All you can eat. So much dead money, right? There's nine big blinds out there. And we have a hand that no matter what they call with, ace, king, good for you. Well, who gives a shit? Let's flip, flip a fucking coin. But I get to take all the money that's already there. It's valuable. All right. So, yeah. Very soon. Very soon. Get your fingers ready. Go into the GG lobby. Find the 25K when I sign up. And pretty soon, you'll have an opportunity to buy a piece of the action. Okay, that's not us. Maybe that was a bad fucking call. I don't know. I don't know Lay that much, but he's been playing kind of crazy, so. Okay, let's check. Giving up on this one. But, you know, four outs is a lot of outs to hit a queen. That's a plenty of outs. The problem is, lots of full house combos, too, possible. Okay. Who knows? Fuck. We have some showdown value now. Aces and kings. If somebody has a queen, we lose. Queen or a king. I wonder if five high can bet here. Wow, he's betting two bigs. And it's been called. I was thinking about a bluff here, but I'm just going to fucking let it go. Fuck. All right, well, we would have chopped the pot. <laughs> it's hard to overcall. I would have called five high. But damn, I should have just check-raised like I was going to. But it's hard to represent there what I need to, which is a full house. That would play that way. Okay. Ten more. Let's see it. All right. We got one pair. Queen 10 off in regular hold of me. Like, Ugh, that's not a very good hand. It's a much better hand in short deck. Much better hand. Much, much, much better. Now we could rep the queen jack. Right? We have a 10. We could rep the queen jack. And I think we're going to. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go bomb bomb. <clears throat> we're gonna rep the queen jack. We don't have the queen jack. We are bluffing. Uh, but again, when you have a queen, there's only 12 combos of queen jack specifically. And we're gonna try to steal this one. We're trying to get a king to fold, trying to get an ace to fold. All right, booyah kasha. Booyah kasha. Old Dean eggs. Shipping it in there. He must have had queens or something. <laughs> or jacks, I don't know. Very shortly. You know what? Go in the lobby right now. Do it. Do it. Go into the lobby right now. Buy yourself a piece. Okay? You can buy yourself a piece of me in the 25K buying on Sunday. Go ahead. Do it now. Do it now. It's it's open. It's going to be available right now in the lobby. Go get yourself up to 1% for 250 bucks. You can buy smaller increments, of course. Um, yeah, so that'll be Sunday. I'm going to sell that now in the lobby. Now, for you people now, right? In your present time. For me, five minutes from now, but don't worry about that. Go to the lobby right now. Check it out. Get yourself... Get you some. Get you some of that. I'm going to give it my all in the 25K. Going to play a game. 37 bigs. I can fold here. Okay. See ya. All in, all in, all in, all in. Go get you some, people. see ace king ace queen ace king oh what one queens do, 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 do. all right king 10 suited don't mind if i do don't mind if i do decent duke again as i said most almost every hand entirety of our range we're going to limp at this stack depth under the gun that includes all right well we need a queen. We need a queen. And don't be like, oh, it's a gut shot. Da, da, da. All right, it's a gut shot. There's freaking, we know, so it was 30. There's 31 cards left, right, that we don't know. Four of them win for us. I mean, you could go, oh, the spade. Ah, whatever. Just fuck flush. You have a flush, take my money. Queen is the key. Queen is the one. We could also catch 7-8 to make the 10, the jack high straight. It's so funny how you think about 7-8 being like an out, where normally in the regular hold'em you're like, oh, that's runner-runner. That's Okay, that's not a good card for us, I don't think. A lot of potential nine-something hands behind. We're not going to be able to bluff that one. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Giving up on this one. Thank you, Ritam Halder from India. What's up? Well, look at that. Nobody had shit. Well, we had King Jack here for five high. All right, break time. Be right back. Go ahead and get yourself those pieces of me in the 25K right now.
Sweet. Another 90 seconds. All right, still opportunity, people, to buy a piece. Oh, what you're seeing on screen there. Look at that there, right? Okay, you can win a seat to the World Series Poker Main event, right? $49.99 on clubgg.net. Check it out, clubgg.net. You can play for free with friends if you just want to set up games and use this awesome software. Uh, in addition to that, we're giving away 20 seats. You'll get a chance to hang with me in Vegas. All The whole deal will be a lot of fun. We'll have some drinks, and you'll get a chance to play the main event for $49.99. And the way it works, it's a step tournament thing, so you get to play as many step ones as you want. All right? You qualify for, you know, you, you get through on step one, you get to step two. Qualify for step three. You make it to step three, which is on Sunday, and then on Sunday, five, the top five players will get a seat, and we'll do that for four weeks. So, and you, good, the good news is you can play on clubgg.net from pretty much most anywhere except here's some bad news okay there are some jurisdictions that don't allow it. in the united states you can play from any state except wah, wah, except wah, wah, these following states georgia nope hawaii nah minnesota mississippi montana oklahoma south carolina south dakota washington <laughs> nope they don't want you to play poker in your underwear at home because they want to protect you blah 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 stupid shit you know what are you gonna do all right Let's get back to the game. Commando. From what I'm seeing, the package has been out. You guys are buying it up. I see right now 13.9% sold, 14% sold. So there might be still time. I don't know. I'm speaking five minutes in the future. So you want to check on that. Go into the GG lobby. You got a chance to buy a piece of me in the 25K Super High Roller this Sunday. A lot more available for you guys this time, you know, because it's a 25K, so there's something meaty we can give you. When I sell for those, like, $400 events or whatever, 25%, it just goes boom like that. It's only 100 bucks, right? Now we're talking $6,250. So go ahead, buy your piece of me if you want. If you don't want, I don't care. I'll fucking keep it. It's a fucking good value anyway. <laughs> and I'm going to bring it. We're gonna bring it. All right, five high. Probably took a longer break than necessary. Mm, 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 mm. 
Yeah, unfortunately, Josh, Billingsley, the only way you can buy a piece of me for this 25K is if you're in a jurisdiction that can have, or you have a GG Poker account with money in it, funded, and then you can go ahead and buy uh, a piece in the lobby, right in the client. It actually works pretty fucking smooth, pretty easy. And as soon as the tournament's over, whatever pieces um, you had goes into your account, just like that. Boom. Okay, so what are we sitting on here? See what it looks like this look all right nice i'm gonna go with the big blind situation we got 56k so that's 16k up from what we have total so essentially we have 40k in play of what we put up we have 20 behind that's that what that little one number means looks like everyone at the table has utilized at least one of their rebuys you see a lee he's got a whole stack on the table right over here 37 big blind jam from Bonomo. Trying to get it going. Late reg. Three more hours. Ace queen against ace queen. Okay. That's going to be a chibity chop. Eight. That's a fold here. So as you can see, our VPIPs actually, we haven't had a lot of hands actually, but there's also the issue of like, there's been a ton of jamming, right? So there's a lot of hands we might've seen a flop with or limped, but you know, you can't call against the full jam. So what did he make it? Boom, boom, all right i still think it's over five minutes into the future if you want to buy a piece of my action in the 25k super high roller bowl high roller this sunday and you have a GG account, go to the lobby of that tournament. It's event number 21, 25K Super High Roller Championship. And you look at the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see my name. You'll see right now, it's a 16.9% sold, which means there is an available 8.1% uh, for those that are able. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Check raise on the river. Very nice from Oasis. Who's Oasis here? From Venezuela. 654 cane winnings. Five high only has 23,000 winnings, but apparently might be a high roller short deck player that doesn't play tournaments. Rascola from, so we got Hong Kong in the house. We got China. We got Norway. We got Venezuela. We've got Canada, Justin Bonham away. All right, we've got some limps. Lot of limps, lot of jams. You're gonna see a lot of both. Limps, jams. As you can see, even the tightest player at the table so far it's played 37% of hands, so it's going to be higher than what you normally see in regular hold'em. All right, we got a bet, a raise, and a call from Ross Cola. Okay, well, that hand, so now the seven on the turn doesn't change anything, really. It doesn't. It really doesn't. I mean, a jack, oh, a jack, a jack was, if someone had a jack and played here, they probably already, well, I don't know, maybe it did, but very unlikely. Oh no, not very unlikely. Because what, jack seven was the straight, six seven, jack queen, no, no, actually never mind. It's, a, it's an important, it, it's a card that could have changed things. Scratch what I just said in my analysis. Ross Cola. If you had like king jack on this flop, you're supposed to just 
call. Get it in. All right. So this would be like close to impossible for Ross Cola to not have at least a jack here. Close to impossible. Is there any chance that Ross Cola is betting here without a jack? Probably not. So A lead. Does he have queen jack? Might be. What's going on for Ross Cola? So if you have a jack and you're Ross Cole, you just got check raised, you think, all right, well, my best case scenario is I'm chopping. My man have, might have queen jack. He just has the jack seven and the jack jack. Okay, so he had a blocker. So what was he thinking about? Really worried about jack queen and you have two jacks? Okay, so yeah, it really didn't change anything except it made it a split pot versus a winner for my man A. Lee. Blinds are now... What are they? 400. They're not blinds. Ante. Antes are 400. All right. So far, so good. What's the average stack say? 162 bigs. But that, so that is that, that includes our bigs we have behind. I'm not sure. We are currently 15 out of 54 left. Bonomo doing his money with the 33 bigs. Jacks. Ace 10. Like a coin flip. Now he's got 23%. Now he could catch a 10 or a ace. That's it. Oh no, just a 10. That's actually a pretty, what the hell? What the fuck? Or queen. Haha. <laughs> kings and queens with an ace. That's why the because I was like, I forgot. Queen or a 10, right? Because you can make kings and queens counterfeit the jacks. Kings and queens ace high. Or the 10. The jack was no longer good, of course, because it makes Bonomo the full house. King Jack suited. Don't mind if I do. It's gonna be a limp call. Yeah. Like, even if Ross Cola jams for 48 bigs, I'm coming. But maybe against some bigger jams, I could find the fold. Actually, yeah, I can. Do do. Do do. Do do. Do do. do. Oh, wow. Now all these people coming in. Bonomo, I'm going to call. For sure. Oh, no. Oasis, you going to do it? You want to do it? You going to do it? All right. Nobody did it. Do do. All right. We have a pure 10 and a backdoor club, which is whatever. But there's six fucking people in the pot. We're in first position. It's very, very difficult to find a lead here. So we're going to check. But we will call pretty much anything less than a pot size bet. So like even if someone bets eight big blinds, we're, we'll call. Try to hit that 10. Boom. Smack dab in the middle. Remember, there are only 31 cards we don't know. And we need one of four. Even the tennis spades. Oh, wow, look at this. Ah, oh, all right, so small bet from Bonomo. Just gonna call. Interesting that he's going quarter pot here. Or whatever it is, yeah, a little over quarter. Small little feeler bet, trying to pick it up maybe, who knows? 10, no, oh, no, that's it. All right, now we're done. Now we're done because we can't, the straight no longer beats a full house. Flushes beat full houses, but not straights. So queen seven, nine seven, nine nine, even well not queen queen probably, but it's just a lot of combos. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we done. All right, still pieces available, people. Twenty two point six percent sold, two point four percent left for those that are uh, wanting a piece. All right, I can fold here of my action in the 25K this Sunday. Almost completely sold out. And Oasis is gonna pick this one up, I think. I don't think, I can't imagine Bonomo is checking with a very strong hand in that spot with only one player behind. Could, I don't know. It's capable, it's a good player, you know. It's a bad hand, jack seven off. We haven't seen a flush yet, right? Not one. I don't think. Nobody's made a flush. Again, as I said, very difficult to make flushes. Doo doo. Doo 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 doo doo. Not gonna bluff this through. Doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. Where am I? Doing that. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. This is a wave the white flag. We lose. 
What do you have? Ace, Jack of Spades. He wasn't fucking folding. King, Nine of Clubs. He might have folded. I, I would have had to barrel turn and river. But I don't Queen, six. I'm just going to fucking open fold that. I don't care what price I'm being laid. You know what I mean? Queen, six off, bro. You don't like the queen, six off, jack, six off, king, six off. Again, the six is like the deuce. However, there is, in theory, a card smaller than a six. In specific spots, the ace can be used as a five if it makes a straight. So if the board comes six, seven, eight, right? And you have ace, nine, you have a nine high straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do no. Do no, do no, no, no. Oh man, all gone. All gone. The pieces have been sold. Thanks everybody for buying a piece. Well, you should be thanking me, never mind. <laughs> let's let's get real. What is a staking chat? Oh. Good luck. I didn't know they have staking chat. That's cool. That's super cool. So people that bought a piece, you can chat amongst yourselves within the client there. If you see staking chat, that's new. Oh, we got 70 different stakers. 70 different people bought pieces. Kevin Martin got himself 1%. All right. 70 different people put together the money. All right. We'll have fun. We'll have fun. We'll have fun. Okay, here we go. Let's play. King, queen. This one actually... I'm going to raise this one. I'm going to raise with the king, queen. Don't call a limp jam with this because limp jams are going to be like ace, king a lot. And we don't do well against ace, king. Or aces and kings. But in position, I don't mind... Hoofing it up a little bit. Notice our sizing's a little smaller than some of the other guys. We're gonna bluff at this one for size. Seven six is like deuce three kind of thing. So if he has the jack, such as life, we have back doors, we have all kinds of stuff. That's a fucking really bad board now. We just cannot win. So we're gonna have to give up on this one. All right, no chance we win. He has a jack, I think. Jack or nine ten, but. I think he's got a jack. You have a jack, you win. Yep. See, I know what's up. Actually, I could have won with a king or a queen. <laughs> Six outs. That's a plenty of outs. Yep. Nice hand. Ace, jack, limp. Okay. Queen, ten suited. I'm going to limp this one. And we will call a bottom-o jam. I know. What? Queen, ten suited? What? Are you crazy? What? Yeah, no, we call. We call. Suited broadways, bro? <laughs> Good fucking hands. Especially in a spot where he's going to be. All right, and there's three queens. So we're going to check this flop as we would a lot of hands. And we'll try to pick up some value with a turn and river bet. But again, we could be beat too, right? He limped behind. He could have queen jack, king queen, queen seven, I guess. Wow. Overcall. I mean, all right. So queen six, queen seven's unlikely. So the only real concern is queen jack, king queen, which I guess is in there. Too good to fold, though. Unless it goes all in, all in somehow. Queen jack. All right, the flush got there too now. So with the overcall here, I'm actually slightly concerned about the flush in this spot because what the fuck else do they have? I'm also worried about queen jack. I'm worried about king queen. Just worried. Just worried, man. Overall, we're just worried. Pocket eights, queen 10, 10 8. All right, nobody was calling anyway. You had one guy bluffing, you had one guy making a kind of a loosey goosey call with the two eights. Well, it was fine actually. And then old Dinegs behind with the queen. Okay, new table. We got Kose Ichinos. We got Sang Win, or Win Sang, Sang Win. I guess they go backwards. V Korbut and Dmitry Yurasov. So we got some ballers here. All right, so against 12x, 10-8 suited, I'm going to call this bet and not continue playing after that flop. Mm -mm. 
Do 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 do. That's a whiff. Okay, you win. Let's see what would have came? Nothing. Thank you, Paulo Rubim from Brazil. Will I be streaming even after Cabo? Not for a while. After Cabo, we go back. We'll be playing the Poker Masters live at the Poker Go Studio, and then we got the Super High Roller Bowl. Okay, 300k buy-in. Then immediately after that is the World Series of Poker. So we will be doing vlogs. Daily vlogs as always. So. Yeah, so what do we have in chips here? That's a fold. Hello. Good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got all the blitz was out there. Denny Shufarin. Denny Shufarin has 370k in earnings on tournaments. V Corbett, 253. Kose, how's he doing? 350K. Sangwin, 184. And then Dimitri Yurasov, I think he's got a lot. 800K. So far, 61 entries. Ace 10 suited, hello. Don't mind if I do. All right, that's good. We're going to call that off. Definitely call that. Mm-hmm. We're never dead. I mean, we're dead, but we're never dead dead. Okay, ace, queen, suit, big deal. We have flushes, we have straights, we have tens. Okay, we, we need help. All right, we need a queen now. Not the queen of clubs, he has that anyway. All right, whatever. You win one. Nice hand. Nice hand. Doo -doo. Got to gamble. We got people jamming and ga jamming and gambling, jamming and gambling off the short stacks. Doo -doo. P the pieces have been gone. Sorry, those that were interested in buying a piece in the GG lobby, they are gone. We haven't seen a flush, just for the record. I don't think anyone's made a flush yet. All right, so we are slightly below our starting, well, we're below our starting stack now. We have 25K in front of us, um, plus 20 behind, so we got 45K over 60. We lost that ace-10 suited hand. Such is life. Doo doo. Doo doo doo. Doo doo doo. Got another suited Broadway hand. Different vibe at this table. Different vibe, huh? Not playing that one. Half pot lead from the first limper with three people behind us. He's ten suited. What did he have? How many chips? Let's see. I don't know. Remind myself. Do do. Okay, all, all. Antes were 2400. He went on for 17k. So I called 16.8 to win 19.6. That's that's I think going to be very profitable in the long run. Yeah, as it turns out, now we do have these percentages. His ace queen 
had me 60% to 39%, so it was 60-40, pretty close to a flip. But that's because he had that specific hand. If he has other hands, like even just jacks, king-queen suited, queen-jack suited, all that kind of stuff, we do okay against the entirety of his range, calling with the ace-10 suited in that spot. Okay, we need a jack. Four left, remember, four out of thirty one cards. Do you get your third bullet back if you don't use it? It just gets added to your stack. So essentially right now, I'm playing a stack of 43,000. There's a 20 here hiding behind that chips right there. And then there's the, you know, the 23 on the table. So that's our stack in total. World Series of Poker is not canceling tomorrow. That is a bad rumor, whatever you heard. Random, where'd you hear that? I'm friggin', no, never mind. Ace King, Queen Jack. All right, nines, these little pairs are not nearly that good. So hands like nines, tens, eights, they're not nearly as good, right? Um, always gonna be over cards, right? But uh, they're worth a limp, right? But then if somebody jams, I don't call it off with these hands in this spot. You'd much rather have jack 10 than two nines. See, I'm not, I'm not calling it off here with nines. Because what are you hoping he has, right? If he has aces, kings, queens, you're fucked. Jacks, tens, you're fucked. If he has those. And then if he has queen, jack, you're still fucked. I mean, you're not fucked, but like, you're flipping. There's not a lot of hands where you have in bad shape. King nine against six X. I can fold that. All right, we're getting to a point where we can start jamming like Dimitri is here. 37 bigs. We've got the open and the call with king-queen, see? And king-queen is now 3-1 to one dog only. He needs a jack, which is still 14%. Get the jack, and he did not. Get the queen instead. So a double up for Dimitri Yurasov. Nine seven. We haven't had aces or kings. We had ace king a few times. Boom. Jam, jam, jam. We're seeing the jam, jam, jammy. Jimity, jam, jammy. The jammy, jammy poker. Ugh. Eight nine. I would limp with this one if they let me. If they let me limp, I will limp. 
Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let us see a flop. Okay, he did it. He did it. What was the flop? I can see a flop anyway. Haha, <laughs> I just didn't have to pay for it. So that flop, ace, nine, seven, okay? We had eight, nine, okay? If a six came on ace, nine, seven, and we had eight, nine, we make a straight. How? Because the ace is a five, the six is there, the seven's there, and the nine is there. So we would have a nine high straight. You always got to remember that ace plays as an ace and a five. Lots of people have gone through their three bullets already. We're gonna have we have re-entries. We've had seven people re-enter. Not one person has played one bullet and left. Everyone's gonna just jump back in. Or wait, maybe not. All right, we're gonna limp call off here. Certainly, limp call off with the king queen suited. Limp, call off, gamble. Okay. I just limp jam here, actually. Yeah, let's just limp jam. Okay, good luck. Maybe he has a jack 10 kind of hand, jack queen, something like that. Ace jack, okay, it's a coin flip. Kings and queens. He has the, now we can see a flush potentially. Ace or a spade, and there it is. Okay. He's made a flush. That's the first flush we've seen. And, yeah. C'est la vie. Ouais. That money was getting in no matter how we played it. And now we're on our final bullet of this uh, thing. Let's see. Shows the equities exactly. Yeah, look at this. So we had king queen suited, right? He had ace jack. Okay. This is the crazy thing about the game. All right. Uh, is limp limp? Gonna go bet. Bluff at this one a little bit. So look at this. The king queen suited against ace jack. What do you think my odds were of winning? Okay. If you guessed 49.15%, which is a literal coin flip, then you guessed correctly. It was literally a coin flip. 50-50. Ace jack against king queen suited. Very different how the equities run in this game. It's important to notice that stuff or know that stuff if you will. All right, we are dead here, completely. Just completely dead, so I'm not gonna blush with this. He could have an eight, eight, nine, eight, ten. An ace. King 10? Wow, king, queen, win. King, queen, win. All right, I'll take it. I guess I did bet small, so it's worth it for him to peel. Jacks, okay, for 46 bigs, we'll be getting it all in pre. But jacks, they're not what you would, they're not like you have in regular hold'em where you're like, oh, jacks. Not even jacks suck anyway, but jacks not nearly as good even in this, especially in this game. But I'm happy to, like with jacks, I'm happy to take it. Jack six can fold. What are we sitting on? All right, we're sitting on our 27K of 60. So we have half of our entire stack now because we've got no, no, no bullets left in the chamber. So this is it. We've got the 55 bigs. But we do have two rebuys available that you people that bought a piece would not take part in, which we don't want to have happen because we want you guys live. Right? You know what I think I'm going to make for lunch? A little bit of a goofy meal, but it's fun. They got these like field roast corn dogs. A little snack. How about that? They're fun. Something fun. I'll try it out. See if my wife wants some. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going to have. Why not? Maybe they'll be good. Let me, how many are there? Three servings. 
That's enough for me. I can eat the whole fucking bag. I'm, I'm eating this trip. We're just eating. We are just eating, you know? Having fun. It's a fun game to play. A lot of gamble. You know, a lot of like, okay, let's go. Whee! John Cluche, TJ's son. Wow, what's up, man? How you doing, John? Played with your dad in the 90s, if you can believe it. In the 90s, played with your dad. I used to play all those tournaments. $100, $200, $300 buying, didn't matter. bullet. Same as Dmitry Urasov. As you can see, he's got a zero next to his name. Denis Chouferin of Ukraine. Why did I say it like it's French? Denis Chouferin. Denis Chouferin. Chouferin. Cosse Ishinous. Lot of all ins when you play the short deck. We've got an all in. Full houses abound. Of course, straights are there too. The Jack Nine. Oh, he shows an eight of spades. All right. Would have been an interesting bluff if he did. All right, I'm going to fold this one. So the tournament doesn't really start until the rebuys are over. I mean, until the, yeah, basically until the re-entries are over and every stack's on the table. That's when it's like play for keeps kind of poker, you know? Right now, everybody playing with multiple bullets kind of just, you just fire, right? Okay, queen six, not a good hand. All right, blinds have gone up again. The ante is now 600. 600 ante. So there is a, let's see if we look at the actual chips, 25, there's like 36, 4,200 out there already, right? Like before the flop. And we've got 25K, which basically makes it an easy, just we jam it in there, all of it, especially with this hand. We will certainly play for all of it. Yeah. Okay. Doom, 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 doom. He has ace queen. We'd be in good shape. Pretty good shape. There's really no hand he can fold. Not correctly. Should essentially, if he raised after a limp, he's just got to play any two fucking cards. 
that he raised with. Like, what? you can't really raise fold here. That's not good. Ace 10, okay. All right, so we need a queen, king, queen, or jack. Any paint card. And there's the jack, All right? You guys were worried for a second. Well, we still have to worry because an ace or a 10. All right, it's a club. It's a seven. Okay, sweet. Dumb. All right? You see the flop and you're like, oh, man, he outflopped you. But look, we need a king, queen, or a jack, which in this game is a lot of freaking cards. Let's see if they show the percentages after the flop. So we're back to 88 bigs. We are 53K total. All right. Mm -mm. Do -do 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 -do. All right, we're going to do it again. All you can eat with the queens. 63. No, it doesn't show. Flop. Okay. All right. You want to call? Call. Whatever. Do it. Do your thing. I'm just going to take the money that's there. Thank you. 100 antes once again. Which is. Our starting stack. We start with 60K. We have 60K. The only difference is it's all on the table now, right? We started out with just 20 each. Went broke with 120. Went broke with 120. Won our flip back. And now we are back to square one. Going to limp here. Uh, can't call that one. Can't call that one. A little bit expensive to call with 9, 10 off suit. Even suited. Just too expensive. Let's see. What was the flop? All right. Not great. Flop the 9. whoop de doo Queen Jack suited. All right. We're going to look at this one, too. It's a nice hand. Very nice. We have Jack-10 dominated, and sometimes Jack-10 gets frisky. All right, we have a good hand to call with here with the queen jack suited. So let's just get it in. All right, queen jack suited. Let's go. Wee! <laughs> wee, wee. Oh, boy, wee. Again, remember what I, if he has, like if he has ace 10, we're 50 50. Oh, we got called here for 59 bigs. All right, big pot. Let's go. Queen jack suited, jack 10 suited, ace king. All right, we're in great shape. Just need a queen. All right, there's the queen. Now we need a jack or a queen. All right, now we need a heart. Oh my God, we have hearts. So we have hearts, we have a queen, we have, no, that's not a heart. Queen then? Queen, yeah. Could be a queen. No, it's not a queen. All right. Queens and jacks, he makes the straight. We, be, we win the side pot, actually. Because we get queens and jacks against jacks and tens. So we won back, we basically broke pretty close to even on the hand, right? Huh. We broke basically even on the hand. Let's see if they have this one up. Yeah. So that one, well, interestingly, uh, the ace king had 38%. I had 31. Uh, and then he, he had 38%, essentially. And the queen jack and the jack 10 both had 30%. Crazy, right? Almost made a flush. Very difficult to make flushes. Wee, queen jack suited. 50K. All right, back to starting ish. It's a gambling game, ladies and gentlemen. It is a gambling game. You're, everyone's always going to have something, you know? Ooh, look at that flop. Thank you, Matt Raines, for the super chat. How much live poker have you played in 2021? Not a lot, of course, you know, but played more. Not, I didn't play at all in 2020. Just played the win, played the... U.S. Poker Open, and then I played the Poker Go Cup, which we won, the Poker Go Cup, against all the high roller geniuses. We ended up winning that one. About a million dollars in profit for that one, which was nice. I won the 50K for 700. Okay, this is going to be a limp call against 30 bigs. Not if Sand goes all in. If Sand goes all in, then we can fold. Oh, fuck. It's just as I said it, he does it. Kings. Oh, man. See, we would have been in good shape against that. All right. Ooh, there's our ace. Fuck, we would have won. If he didn't pick up kings, I think. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we would have made the straight. Damn it. Ah, no, don't do it. Ace 10 suited, bro. Man. All right. Such is life. Everybody makes something. 
I'm not calling this 32 big blind shove. Holding the nines. Make a call there. Right, ace jack and ace nine. Oh, spades. He's got a flush draw. There he goes. Another flush. We were seeing flushes going left, right, and center. And yours truly would be drawn dead with the nines. Or no, would I have nine of spades? I did have nine of spades, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to limp along here out of position with the ace eight. And if he raises, we're not folding. If he jams, we'll fold. If he raises, I will call. Makes it like 10x, 8, 9x, yeah. For that price, I'm going to call with the ace 8. Not a great hand, but, but. Hmm. Seven? Well, we both could have. Well, I can't have a seven here, never mind. Good flop for him. If you just had two random cards, you can just bluff at it. I'm going to fold. Let's see. It's queens and sevens with the ace kicker. Queen nine. All right, we can take off. This is a blee, blah, 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 blah hand. Blah, blah, blah. Why keep jamming? Why not slow play? This is a game. What are you slow playing? What do you think you're slow playing? Okay. If you don't have, what do you, what hand do you think is like? Oh, I'm gonna slow play Ace King, <laughs> and they have Jack Ten. It's a coin flip. There's so much more value in winning the dead money because people are always getting the right price in most spots. So you slow playing preflop is really just not a thing. I mean, obviously the only slow playing you're doing is limping in early position with strong hands to trap, but you're not fucking slow playing. Mm -mm. Do -do 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 -do. This is a 5k and 5k buy in, and you get three stacks for that 5k. If you happen to go bust, you can buy in again for 5k, you get three more stacks, and once again, you get another chance. So, three chances, nine total op, nine total stacks, if you will. Why did I win the side pot with the queen jack? Because queens and jacks beats jacks and tens. And V Corbett had more chips than Sangwin. Okay, I can fold that one. Let's see, it says preheat the 350, I think. Let's do that. Jack. Let's go ahead and play Limp Along Cassidy. We got a raise to nine bigs. Okay, okay. Let's just take a flop. And that's a good one. We've got the actual straight with a straight flush draw, queen of spades. It's just the absolute stone cold nuts. We flop the joint. Not a hand we wanted to get in pre. See a flop with it. Against the raise. Now we have the nuts. I mean, oh yeah. Oh, there's a flush. Oh, now the full houses are possible. But. Full houses are now possible. But if he does have a full house, which he doesn't, uh, 
we could still win with a spade because a full because a flush beats a full house. So if he jams on us, he could have nine ten. Oh fucking joke! Now it's a problem. He doesn't have a ten. What world does he have a fucking ten in? Ten jack, ten queen, whatever. Mm -mm. I mean, I'm not folding anyway, but maybe I should just check and let him bluff. I think it's a check, let him bluff here. More likely to get called. Yeah, check. More likely than getting called by like kings, queens, aces. He's got a bluff here with a decent amount of hands. All right, he didn't, he didn't bluff. Okay, but it was good. Oh, he had the ace of spades. Wow. How the fuck did you not get that in, bro? Damn. I guess he figured he didn't need to. That was unfortunate. Okay, kings now. Again, kings, 54-46 against ace-10. So this is an equity denial situation. We don't slow play here. We raise it up. Try to get it in pre if we can. Hope they don't have aces. What does he got? Kings, you've got King Queen. Okay, that's a good spot ish. He needs a jack. 27%. Look at that. Kings against King. He needs a jack. So he's 15% now. Could catch the jack. And it's not a jack. Oh, d -Nags wins. A lot of all ins. Yee. Let's see. You want to see what the Kings versus King Queen was? Let's take a look at the percentages on that one. Pre flop. Okay, so Kings against King Queen. He was still 19%, so he had 80%. It's about as good as you can get in short deck is to get it in at 80%. Now we're sitting on 134, 54. So we have 80K from 60. So we started with 60, we have 80 now. I'm looking at this deal here. I got these field roast miniature corn dogs. I'm going to try this. Why not? Preheat oven to 350. Place many corn nuts on a baking sheet and heat for 20 minutes. Allow to cool before handling. Oh, you can microwave them? Nah, we want, we want to cook them proper. You know, oven. Microwave, make them soggy. A little ketchup, maybe a little mustard on those. Snack time, bro. Enjoy. Handle that on the break. Expose Spade. You can play Club GG Poker from Ohio, okay? Uh, I believe Ohio is not on that list. Yeah. So from Ohio, you got to go over to clubgg.net, okay? Go to clubgg.net or look for it in your, uh, in your app store, download, and you have the opportunity to play for free with your friends, or you can play for $49.99 a month for a chance to win a seat into the World Series of Poker main event right now. We're giving away five every Sunday. It's a step process. You can play as many step ones as you need to. Get to step two, you make it to step three, the top five will get a seat. Get to hang out with me, have some drinks at the World Series of Poker. So check that out at clubgg.net. Everybody needs to get one. It's cool. Like I said, if you want to play games with your friends or whatever. King 10. All right, I'm going to lay that one down. Let's see what will come. All right, we missed. Suited? Hell no. I mean, even though, again, very, very small percentage make a flush. Queen 7, I'm not going to play, even though it is suited. Because it's Queen 7. Queen 7, <laughs> not good. You don't want to have, generally speaking, one face card and one card, you know, 8 or lower. Like 8, 7, 6. You don't want Jack 7, Queen 7, King 7. Not ideal. So you look at the percentages of hands played. We're at 47%. Dennis is at 47%. Corbett, 53. Koshi, 43. And a little tighter here from Sang Win. Just 32. Etienne Kruger, thanks for the question, from South Africa. For when I sell the pieces on GG Poker... Anybody who can have access to GG Poker um, and has account can, can do it from whatever country that you can do that from. Check nine off under the gun. All right. 
All right, I'll see it for one chip. Okay, limp all along with five five way action. What's the point of this? Pro this is more gamble, right? A lot of the Asian players created this game because they wanted to be able to get it in pre flop more. They just like were sick of having bad hands, like having a you know jack deuce, queen deuce. Like there's just less bad hands. It allows you to play more hands. That's the purpose of it. All right, I'm gonna lay that one down too. If they have a circle around their avatar, does that mean they're not a pro or a paid sponsor? I don't know what you mean, the circle around the avatar. I don't know. I don't know what it, I don't know what it means. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Okay, we got pair of nines, yeah! Nope. Short deck poker action. Average stack, 134 bigs. Yours truly is 108. I imagine that it counts all the stacks, including the bullet behind. You see here, Kosei has got 48 blinds in front of him, but he's also got two behind him. Two back. Two minutes till break. Put these bad boys on a baking sheet. Have some fun, eat a little corn dog action. What goes good with corn dog? I think ketchup and mustard, right? Ketchup for sure, because that's the nuts. Gotta have the ketchup. Do I even have ketchup? What if I don't have ketchup? No, I have ketchup. I ordered ketchup. I think we have ketchup. If not, that's a problem. Problem. Don't eat the ketchup, Daniel. It has sugar in it. Yeah, you don't eat it. I like it. It's yummy. A little bit of ketchup never killed nobody. Tasty. One of the perfect condiments. It's got umami taste. It's got sweet, sour, salty, umami, uh, all the things. Not spicy necessarily, but all the things. Okay, A7. Nope. No, thank you. Thanks for the offer with the A7, but I'm not interested even for one little, one little itty bitty chip. Not interested. Robert Dennison says, can you please explain the Club GG thing again? Sure thing, can do. All right, I'm gonna put up the screen just for a sec. Oh no, wait, there's a hand going on. But uh, yeah, what? so it's this, right? Boom, that's the Be Right Back screen, which you'll see in just a second. Actually, you'll see it now. Uh, that'll explain, and I'll explain when I get back. But basically, yeah, sign up, forty nine nine in a month. Have your chance to win World Series Poker Main Event seats. Lots of fun, and we'll have other live events and stuff like that you can qualify for in the future as well. Right now, focus on the World Series of Poker. Also, if you just want to play on Club GG with your friends, fire away. Do that. Set up games. Totally free. No charge. Up to you. You can get comfortable with it. See if you like it, which you will, because it's awesome. All right, definitely break time, right? I just hate the idea that... I'd leave early. It says 12.55. It's gotta be break time. All right, 12.56, I'm safe. Be right back. Okay, command U, there you go.
have a problem that you understand. We all need somebody. No, no, I'm just making them. I just put them in the oven. Oh, it'll be 20 minutes from now. How's it going, love? Everything good with your classes? Did you get everything set up? No, I mean yesterday. Hmm. You ready for another Bachelor in Paradise night? Tuesday night. Two, twice a week now, Bachelor in Paradise. Okay. Playing short deck, babe. This game's cray cray. Huh? No, I mean, I know what's going on. They are like you're reading on your social? Yeah. Why are they upset? They think because they trusted Katie that, that he's a player or was an actor? Bad what bad behavior? Okay, it was... Oh, it was gaslighting. Oh, poor sensibilities. Come on, gaslighting. What the fuck? I know, but still. I don't know. Raymond Ploger said, is Daniel, is bluffing more difficult with short tech? Not really. There's a lot of actually really cool spots you can bluff. Okay, two tens. Don't love these hands, but we're going to limp for sure. If Edia moves in for 26, I'm actually going to fold with three people behind me with the tens. Tightest player at our table is Sangwin. He's limping in under the gun. So that tells you it's a decent hand. Could be a limp trap. Okay, gonna limp in here. Off of a hundred bigs or hundred antis, whatever you want to call it. What goes good with them? Uh, ketchup and mustard, right? Or just ketchup. You like just ketchup. Huh? Mustard? Ketchup, though. Come on. What do you have? I know, so you just have ketchup. Mustard only, people are saying. Oh. Mustard for sure, no ketchup. Come on. Are you nuts? You know what I'll do? How about I'll try both? I'll dip it in some ketchup, I'll dip it in some mustard.
So yeah, we limp folded the tens because fuck it. What's he gonna have there? What are we do? What are we loving? Nothing. We're not loving life with tens. Okay, we've got a checkable hand here. We've got a check call here. Got to be worried about an eight. It's a legit concern. More so from Ed Young than from Dennis, who limps early there. Okay, so now we have a situation where we can bet 40% and we do not want to get called. We are just praying they both fall because all we have now is aces and eights with a queen kicker. Ed Yum could be slow playing an eight. He did not. We win the pot. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, ace eight off, ace seven off, not good hands. Not really. So what you got on the agenda today other than, of course, do to do Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah. Wife is transferring. I can tell them, right? I was just, that's why I asked. Okay. No, I wasn't going to say where. Did they come stalk you? I didn't. I was, that's why I said my... But you're right here. I wasn't going to say it without you here. Okay. Yes, I read that. Malcolm Gladwell wrote an article in the early 2000s about ketchup being the perfect condiment. That's where it came from, my, my take on it. Yeah, I read that. I like Malcolm Gladwell. Interesting stuff. Ranch? Yeah, we have ranch too. Oh, I'm saying, but you, would you ranch with corn dogs? That's not a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Not like a ton. I mean, but I... Yeah, my mom used to make me stuff with like mayo in it. Like this one thing called... She called it salata de beef, which it actually had meat in it, but you don't have to. And it was like a ton of mayo and mustard yeah. and pickles and peas and carrots and potato. It was like unbelievable. I mean, it was... Yeah, I love it. It's one of my favorite things. I, Ornella knows the recipe. I might make that one day. You put some olives on top, maybe. No. No. And the other thing I really liked was vinete. Vinete is another Romanian dish, which is eggplant. But my mom made it special. You have to use a wooden mallet. You take, you take eggplant, you roast them outside on a, on a grill, and then you mash them with a wooden mallet, only wooden. Then you put some uh, oil, salt, garlic, onion, like sliced tomatoes on top of a piece of bread. Clasa întâia, dacă vrei. Okay, we're going to limp in the cutoff, I guess you'd call it here, with the queen nine. Not calling a raise if Dennis decides he wants to push the envelope on the bouton. We will throw it away. All right. Now we have the queen of clubs, which is whatever, but we have a nine, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and bet. 40% pot, semi, well, this is a pure bluff, never mind. We're not getting involved in this hand past this. We're not like, oh, calling raises. We're just done. If, if some, but we could credibly have 9, 10. There's a lot of good hands we could have. So we're going to find out where Sang Win is. He could have King, Queen, King, Jack, Ace, Nine, a lot of different stuff. We could have 9, 10 too if he's tanking this long. But probably going to be bluffing this one. Yeah, we're probably going to be bombing this one three streets. Yeah, I'm going to bomb this. We're going to bomb bluff. Bomb bluff. All right. Bomb. Bomb bluff. And if we get called, we just rebuy. Oops. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, I'm not. But you got to bluff sometimes. We're choosing a hand here. Because we blocked the 9-10, we know we're not ahead for sure, right? He could have jack 10, he could have a whole bunch of shit. All right, now we gotta bet big again. I think we go for 37.9. Go full pot on this turn. 
Yep. Here comes the bluffski. We're bluffing. Shit. If he's got ace fucking nine, he's got a straight. Oh, he's going to call me. Oh, well. He turned the jack, damn it. Nice hand. All right. He had a hand he could call with, but a lot of hands that he could fold. I'm going to say nice hand to him. Sometimes you bluff, sometimes no work. Was that rebuy? It is, I didn't have to rebuy, no. But I just lost, uh, I don't know, about half my stack. Bluffing it off, babe. It's okay. He snapped, too, on the river. All right. I could have had, he didn't, he had, like, a hand that could lose to a bunch of stuff. Ace, not, well, not really, but ace nine is a straight there, as well as nine ten. Yeah? Yeah? Doesn't taste right? Hmm? Well, so you worried? How long ago did you take it? Your wife is smoking, Dan. You're just living the dream in every aspect, eh? Yeah. She's not smoking cigarettes, but she's definitely smoking hot. Oh, are you kidding me? Somebody said, I'm watching that Bachelor in Paradise. James should have took the other girl, not Demi. Are you nuts? Demi's freaking awesome, the demigod. That other one, Kelsey, crying, freaking out all the time, champagne girl. No, no. She's not, that wasn't a good one. He, he did good for the show, for everything. Demi's fun. She's like, we can have sex later. <laughs> so funny. Okay, let's limp along with this piece of cheese right here. Mm -hmm. Everyone says mustard. Okay. Hey, babe, they're going to be ready soon, by the way. I'm going to check this two pair. Vulnerable bottom two. Okay. So we're just going to call and see what develops. A lot of bad turn cards, obviously. Ten or an eight. It's worth trying to snack. Oh, there's the eight. Okay, but we don't beat a flush, right? We don't beat King King, which he doesn't have. We don't beat 10 10. Eh, could have. And clubs, we don't beat. He could have clubs. And if he does, we're just going to lose our chips and we're going to go on to the next uh, stack of bullets. Oh my goodness. What the fuck kind of card was that? <laughs> a king? I think we're still good. I, I, I just think we're still good. I think we're still good. We beat Queen Jack, we beat Jack Nine, we beat Ace Jack, we beat Ace Queen. Well, he doesn't have the Ace Queen as much, Ace Jack as much. Queen Jack, maybe. Queen Nine, Seven Nine. Okay, just give me the money. Yeah, Queen Jack. Sweet. He did not go for it. He did not go for the bluff ski. We will take it. A6 suited. I'll go ahead and limp this one. And we're not. That's not us. What do we got? Another two hours left of late reg. The ante is now 800. What's the worst hand in short deck? Jack six offsuit. Why is that? 10 six. Well, why would that? Because 10 six can make a straight, 789. Jack six doesn't do nothing, and it's the two lowest cards that can't do nothing. Like do seven in regular holding. Ahmed, why fold the tens to 40 big blinds? Because tens is not that good a hand. Right? I'd rather have jack 10. Straight, 
queen nine. Got a fold. What's that saying there? So we play down to seven players. Is this a two-day event? Yeah. Lots of people have busted. A lot of busts. Not us yet. We're still hanging tough. Looking at the leaderboard a little bit. What do we got here? An actual chips. 43K. Okay. So, yeah. So we're like 17K down from starting. Vinita. The way my mom made Vinita was better than anybody ever made it. It was so fucking good. Do you keep the skin on the eggplant when she makes it? No. No way. Definitely not. You gotta take the skin off and take the guts and you just chop, 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 and it's like a little spread you put on rye bread. Bah, the bomb. You gotta find somebody who knows how to make that, like my mom. Ornella, maybe. My brother's wife, Ornella. Ornella, ma che fa? Tu parli italiano, si un poquito. I get, I did it. Un poco, poquito, poco. Fuck, I always mix languages. Because I'm in, I'm in Mexico, I'm watching Narcos, so I got more Spanish on the brain than I do Italian. Oh, everybody's a genius. I love that. I love how you guys are all short tech experts and telling me what I'm supposed to bluff with. <laughs> all right, what has he got, 20 bigs? All right, off 20 fucking bigs. I guess I gotta do it to you, bro, with this piece of shit hand. This is like the worst. This is like fucking not even deuces. This is two zeros. <laughs> I got zeros. <laughs> I had a fucking pair of zeros. Oh, no, I got another pair of zero, like twos, threes. But if he can limp off only 19 bigs, he's got dog doo doo. All right, not gonna play that one. All right, limb snap, ace, queen, queen, jack, okay. Oh, look at that, we would have flopped a nine. Four to one, full house. Oh yeah, ace, queen, good. Queen, jack suited, no good. Dude, why didn't you play the nines? You wear much more than sixes. Why don't you play the nines? The sixes we were stealing. The nines we got fucking Koshi behind us too. You know? You wanna play nines? Come on, bro. Minimum pair there, jacks. Jacks you can't fold. Uh. As you can see, we are. Playing 46% of hands. Corbett, 49. Dennis, 40, 48. Then, 42. And some tight players. Well, Sang's been pretty nitty, you know, 32%. And then we got Ed Yum, who's new. He's playing pretty nitty, too, so far. We get these little pairs all of a sudden. We're on a little pair binge right now. Tens, nines, sixes, nines. All right, don't do it, Edyum. Don't do it. Let's see a flop, maybe flop a nine. We did not. Okay, so we have, don't forget, a six makes us a straight, okay? Because that is a five as well, the ace. So it's five, seven, eight flops. So we've got nines. So a six would make us the straight. And then we've got some other cards that can make us a pretend straight. Yeah, okay, so because of that, six making us straight, and we got the nines, I'm gonna go ahead and call a small bet. And there's the six. Now I'm gonna have to bet some size here. I'm betting here. I don't want him to check back two pair or something like that. Let's get it in. The only hand that beats us now is specifically nine, 10. We have two nines, doesn't leave a lot of combos available. 
So I'll just take it. If we check, I don't think he's betting the turn enough to justify the idea of a check there. So you see we had a straight, right? Six, seven, eight, ace. Nine, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Sang limping in there. All right. We've got, uh, we've got an air ball right here. Air ball. Air ball. Air ball. Nope. Not going to draw to a seven. What do we got in our stack? 50K. We're going to have to limp. Again, look, we're getting seven to one to just limp. Obviously, we don't want them to raise. We are going to limp here strong as well because we know we're up against an aggressive player. We can't just, like, you know, limp bad. Similar to, like, in Hold'em when you limp the small blind. Check, nine, nine. All right, let's check that flop one time. We're going to check call this flop if he bets. Don't love this. You know, don't love anything unless you have the nuts. Even when you do. We have the eight of clubs. Who knows? That could play a thing. Okay, so then ace on the turn. I'm going to still check. I'm going to check. And I'm going to check to check call, actually, with this check eight. He might bet like a king six, a queen jack, a queen seven, fucking just any random bluff. All right, three nine. We have a full house. We win. We just win. But I'm not going to bet it because what am I going to get called by? King high? Three nines of the king? No, we just take it with the jack. We had king queen? Wow. 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 That surprises me. He did not raise my limp with king queen there. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Very interesting. All right. Koshi's limping. I'm going to raise this one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to raise call off this time. Yep. So we're not putting in nine to fold for twenty nine more against Kosi. He could have a screw with Ace King, but such is life. You know, we're doing okay. We're not we're not in great shape against Ace King, but such is life. You know. Ace Queen just must raise call off. I mean, that's sometimes the rules are the rules. You know what I'm saying? All right. I don't mind if he calls. Cool. Back in business, back in business. 78 bigs. The king, queen suited. Now we're getting some cards, eh? Eh? Got the start and stack, eh? All right, that's my reminder. I'm gonna go ahead and limp again, because that's what we do. Gonna, all right, we're gonna definitely call that. And we're gonna gamble. Gamble with Corbett. This is too strong of a hand. Like you saw, Ace Jack. If he has Ace Jack, we're 50 50 against that. Oh, he calls too? All right, then we, yeah, we're definitely. Got a gamble. King Queen suited. Let's go. Ace Nine. All right, King King. Okay, cool. We don't, we're, we're mostly got to beat the Ace, the Ace Nine. So we need a 10. Any 10 will do. Oh, not anymore. Yeah, actually a 10. 10 still beats the Ace Nine. Oh, no, it beats everything. Just any 10. It could be a 10. Yeah! <laughs> Wee! That's fucking short deck, right? Ship it. Ship it to D-Mags. You guys think like, oh, look, you were dead. No, it's fucking short deck. You get two cards suited fucking Broadway, you get it in, yo. Now we got 150K in chips. Back in action. We got these two boys on the on the, on the the ropes. Chip-wise, he's gone. Well, he's, maybe he's rebuying, I don't know. Okay, 10-6. Gonna fold that. Sweet! Aha! Uh -huh. Set up. We got the Heinz. We got Heinz. We got ketchup. We got mustard. We got the stuff. We got chips. On bullet one. There you go, people. Gut shot is an actual draw in this game, right? Especially like in that spot. If you think about it, there was two, four, six, six cards plus four, ten cards. So, yeah, four out of 26 cards, right? Yeah. Let me see. Two, four, six. So we knew 10 cards of 36, so there's 26 left, and four of us, four of them make us the straight. 
Not so bad. Decent. You know? It's not like the, uh, oh shit, all right. I can fold that one. Okay. What are you doing here? Ace Queen 910. We're gonna have a little Coke Zero too. San Suka, San Azucar to go with the corn dog. Seems to make sense. Unless we, we should have beers, maybe. Yeah. There we go. A little corn dog action for DNX. Having fun in Mexico, eating the food, doing the thing. Um, I'll just check this one. Could easily have raised there. Could have easily raised. Now we've got a pretty good hand. Eight or a, a queen and backdoor diamonds. But I'm going to take the free card. That not a good card, even though we pair it. Okay, we're gonna try your mustard too, people, because you said mustard. Okay, we're done. We lose. Did not hit it. It's a gambly game, ladies and gentlemen. A gambly, gambly game. If you have no, if you're faint of heart, this is not the game for you. Because there's a lot of spots where you're like, all right. Let's go, 100 big, 100 annies. I have fucking Queen Jack. Good luck me. I'm starting with the ketchup. Mmm, pretty damn good. Mmm. I think ketchup and mustard. But I'm gonna start with the ketchup, switch to mustard. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I can see the mustard now. A little Coke here. It's a good hand here. Queen 10 suited. Happily call a raise if he chooses to. Okay. Remember, he did not raise the king-queen, which was interesting. Against my la last position limit. But we've whiffed this swap, so. Yeah, you're right, guys, mustard. Mm -hmm. hmm. Not ten. These are pretty damn good. Yes, that is correct. Jack 10, suited especially. I mean, ob suit is fine, still fine. Is one of the best, is, is a very strong hand in this game. Kind of, right? Depending what you're up against. Like the best hand to have against the range. Let's say you have, there's a range of ace, ace, king, king, ace, king, ace, queen. Jack 10's one of the better hands against that. But Jack Queen doesn't do as well against Jack 10 doesn't do good against Jack Queen or King Jack or Ace Jack or stuff like that. Hmm. You guys are right, mustard. Mustard. $40 
14 bigs. Cannot even call. I guess I could call. I don't think it's good with the player behind. Maybe if I was last to act. We have Jack eight. Those middling straighty cards are decent for limps. 10-9. 10-8 is borderline, but... Jack-9, 10-9. Yahtzee! Woo! Alright, I'm not calling 11 bigs. Josh Sabo, Sab Kovoy axes. What do you mean you had a straight with the nines? In this game, an ace can be used as an ace. Oh, aces against kings. Or a five if it makes a straight. So if the board comes a six, seven, eight, or if the board comes a six, seven, then eight, nine is a straight. What do we got here? Three aces beats kings? Wow, brutal cooler. Yeah, what can you do? We are still on the first Mayan. Rebuys end in 90 minutes. Nope. Definitely not calling that bit. What was that? 8-8. Eight, eight. No. Okay. We're going to have some all-ins now. Everybody on. Sang's gonna call. He's never gonna call 18 and fold for 40 more. I don't buy it. Not a single hand in the deck. Hmm. Aces, nines, jacks. Yeah, there's a nine. You guys think the best hand wins in this game? It still could. He's gotta fade six outs. Or no, a king too. So eight. Nine speeds Jack, speeds Aces. Wee! Having fun! Short deck, gamble, gamble. Wee! Pirate Queens, why not? I'm gonna limp trap this one too. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna limp this one. Hmm. Not a great flop. Not a terrible flop. We'll see. Let's see. All right? I thought one of the guys behind might go all in. Get kind of short pre-flop. Certainly peel. Now we have the open and straight draw, the queens. This is a check fold in size. <laughs> we have this, we have that, we have, and we're just going to check and fold. Okay, I'm going to have my last corn dog and leave the rest for her, maybe. Wow, against super small. Can I fucking call? Dude, you had queens, a straight draw, all that shit.
I told my wife to come get some, but I saved her three. And I'm still going to have one or two of those, too, because she's not going to eat them all. You gotta ask yourself what hand bets there after flop bet bets turn does he bet like a king that's like and then we're behind a king anyway right that's a jack if he bet a 10 he would have hit the 10 like i mean we have queen queen i don't like it Right, time to follow the guidelines. Mask up for the rest of the tournament now. Don't want to give it to you through the uh, the thing. Look at this though. How cool is this one for the World Series of Poker? We're going to be. What's that? Which was that? So this is the WSOP side. Boom. And you got the GG Poker side. Boom. So that's going to be my badass mask for the World Series of Poker this year. It's actually super comfy, soft material on the face. That's key, I think, if you're gonna wear one of these fucking things. You gotta find something that's comfortable for you for long hours, because we gonna be sitting 12 hours a day in one of them things. 10-9 suited, I don't mind if I do. Let's uh, go ahead and limp along. 43 players on the dock. Anybody completely out? I wonder. Could be. A lot of gambling in this game. What do we have? What do we got? Well, what we got is we got nothing. But we got a button, non-raise, and we limped under the gun. So he's going to have a lot of garbage here. And there we go. We got nines now. Going to fire 40%. We could be completely dead here against 10 jack, king nine, queen nine, whatever, but I'm going to bet. Could be. Jack seven up suit. No, thank you. No, thank you. What do you do in Cabo when you're not playing poker? We watch shows together, me and my wife. I play my chess games every day. My chess rating on three-day games is 12.36. On 10-minute games, I was up to about 12.50 at one point. I try the five-minute games too, but I'm not as good. Five-minute games, man, it's just like boom, boom, boom. You make way more mistakes. At least I do. Nope, no thanks. Brandon said, thought he was vegan. Those were vegan, if you can believe it. Those were vegan corn dogs made by Field Roast. Uh, whoa, look at this. We have a flush draw. So look at this. Pe oh, look at this. We have the Jack of Diamonds flush. That's rare. Even, you know, the, like the only card that beats us now is the Queen of Diamonds, seven nine of diamonds specifically, which makes a straight flush, and four kings. I gotta bet this river out. Oh. Um, trying to think if I should raise him. Win Sag is playing a little on the tighter side. He's betting small though. I think I'm just gonna flat. What do you got? Fuck! What a good fucking flat! I, I made the second nut flush, which is hard to make, and my man here has the queen of diamonds, and he bets small. Woo! Because that's a raise there, you know? I could easily just fucking raise that river. But I didn't. Dodging bullets, baby. Dodge them bullets. Um, maybe I should Queen 10 here. Just gonna get out of the way. Excuse him. What? King Queen suited. All right. Good thing I didn't miss this hand. It's a 
pretty one. Respect the sanguine limp under the gun. Again, as you can see, his numbers on the lower side. Edium, smaller sample, but we're talking about 150 hands right now. Sanguine, definitely playing fewer than most. Okay. Okay, Kose. Kose Ishinos. If Sang moves in, we fold. Otherwise, we certainly call here with the ten king, queen of clubs. I have a hand I could just jam, but I'm not. We're going to see a flop first. Okay. We have queens. We do not have a heart, but whatever. I mean, probably doesn't either. So it's just going to be a check call on the flop. We beat a decent amount of hands still. We beat jacks, tens. He doesn't have that, though. He could have, like, ten jack, nine, ten suit. Wow, all in? Fucking two X pot. Hmm. Two X pot jam from Kose. <laughs> it's a pretty quick jam too. Ooh, this is a tight one. This is a tight one. Folding. Ten and an eight came. So the ten and an eight coming. I'm going to put not sure if, because that was definitely one where I was not sure if. Good play, good play. Kose, good bluff. So that was an interesting hand with the king-queen. Okay, so the thought process, of course, is this, right? What do we lose to? It doesn't do that with flushes ever. Right? I'm not going to flush. Flush draw, sure. So the value hands that he has his beat with are aces, kings, queens, uh, ace, queen, which isn't a shit ton, right? The problem is the bluffs are going to have a lot of equity. So say, for example, he's got... Uh, Ace Jack with the heart. I, don't know, I mean, I don't know. It was a big bet. It's probably the best hand that I would fold. King Queen. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure that was correct. Probably supposed to call it off. Only thing about that, it was very high in calories, that's corn dogs, but I ain't full, man. I want to fucking eat hers. She's going to tempt me with them sitting there like that. Blinds are up. Blinds is up. We're playing with the 1,000 big blind. Okay, go ahead and see a flop with the gentleman. That's not it. I'm gonna have to move these corn dogs because they're calling out to me.
King 9, all right, fold that. I had to move them because they were tempting me, so I was like, no, I had to move them because I was te too tempted. Well, I just had n all of them. How do you like them? Huh? Decent, decent? No. I wish you hated it. Leading out here with top pair. Got the king of hearts. Against the limps behind me. Ikaika. Close say, you're going to do it to me again? The big raise? Nope, just call, okay. How about a jack or a king? That's about the only good cards we like to see. And see, there's always a bad card available. Check away. If he bets here, I'm actually going to fold. Tilting, right? Because what, what do you beat now when the queen comes? You don't beat 9-10. You don't beat queen-10. You don't beat queen-jack. You don't beat much at all. And you're drawn dead again, some of it. So you fold it. Go ahead, buddy. Take your pot. It's yours. Yep. Good hand. Queen on the river. Hmm. Maybe he bluffed. It's fine. I got a P. You want to play for me? Do you know that straights beat, uh, flushes beats full houses and. <laughs> you just got to go all in with any two cards. We're still on first bullet, honey. We have 100K in chips. Start with 60. Still on. Huh? I just turned the air up. You cold? Yeah, I just turned the air up just now. And it was at 74, which is crazy. But blasting. So what do we got here? A pair of sixes and a gutter ball. I don't like it. You like it? I don't like it. Yeah, right? I don't, I don't remember even having corn dogs, but. Yeah. No. It's fun listening to the comments when I make a fold and half of them say, before I fold, they're like, you got to fold this, man. It's an easy fold. And then other people are like, you got to call. He bluffed you. <laughs> it's funny. I don't care. I mean, what do they know? Toda Yov, your Denny. Your Israeli accent is crazy good. Crazy. It's because uh, I have many experience with uh, Israeli. Regev ve Oren in the la baboker with Chavita and Pilpel Efor Maftechot every morning Ten li kesef Ten li kesef Ten li Ma pitom no? Okay, got the king and the eight That's a fold right there Okay, so we're right in the middle of the pack Whatever, not like this matters at all, but this is a really good opportunity to win a bracelet, y'all, because it is a short field. 
started with right now 90 players, right? Because it is a game that is obscure, if you will, not like a, you know your average Joe doesn't play this game. Oil traders in for his third. Have we eliminated anybody completely? I'm trying to look. Any 3x bullet? Oh yeah, M. Barwinski, all gone. So in the lobby, when you look in the lobby of the short deck, you can see a number beside people's name, and that's like the bullet that they're on. And if a guy's out on bullet three, he gone. Look how beautiful it is out there today, baby. Nice day, we had some rough weather. Not rough, but a little gloomy today. Beautiful sunny while I'm stuck here playing frickin' short deck with y'all. You know? Philip Gerstenbull. Can you rabbit hunt on any hand? Even hands you're not involved? Nope. The only person that can rabbit hunt is the last person who folds. So if a guy bets the flop, fold, fold, and it's up to me, and I fold and I'm last, I can rabbit hunt. They can't. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm actually, that is crazy. I'm the average stack. I'm an average stack, and I'm the biggest stack at the table. You don't see that very often. I wonder if they're... Huh? You did? Why? You don't want it? Eat it if you want it. What do you mean you feel weird? Oh, because of... All right, I'll fucking inhale it. Why not? Mix it up with the mustard and the ketchup, whatever's left. I knew she'd eat two. <laughs> hmm? Okay, love. You do that. Hmm? Damn, they're good. Vegan corn dogs, yo, from a company called Field Roast. Let me show you the label. There it is. I was not meeting there. All right, because you guys are curious, you're talking about the corn dogs. This is what we got Field Roast, the company, plant based corn dogs. Okay. What's in them? Okay, that's I'm gonna put my, I can't even see. So, about a week gluten. All kinds of tomato paste, apple cider vinegar. Seems like the main ingredient. The main ingredient is gonna be wheat gluten. Yeast, different things. Cornmeal for the cornstarch, all kinds of shit. Anyway, no, nah, it's not about how healthy. It's not healthy, not whatever. It's just tasty, and I'm having fun. We're out here in Kabul. I'm on my vacation. I might even have some chocolate, peanut butter cups. Why not? Living life. I'm doing good. I feel good. You know, we're not fat or nothing. All right, what's going on here? We got a limp. Oh shit! Can't call that, especially against Sangwin. Definitely not calling the King 10. What's a corn dog? Asks Van, a European here. It's basically like a hot dog, which we have a vegan version. And it's like um, in like a corn batter. So it's kind of crunchy or it's like a, I don't know how to explain it, but this is what they look like from the inside, you see. Yeah. Fun. Fun food sometimes, right? It's good to eat fun food once in a while. Why not? Later, I'll make a nice spinach salad. Hopefully, my spinach hasn't wilted. Wilted? Spinach? I don't know. All right, what's going on in this damn tournament here? 42 left. <clears throat> right now, it's saying 13 people. All right, haha. -ha.
This is the stream table. I think Kose streamer, Dennis streamer. Yep. I could watch their streams, but I don't give a shit, man. I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm focused with you guys on our what we're doing. Don't worry about that. They can do that if they want. But. Notice the play slowed a little bit as the average stack's gone up, kind of, because like you had a lot of those bullets just going wing, wing, bang, 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 bang. And now people are settling in a little bit. That's a bad end. That's a bad end. So in these spots, capped range situation is very important to understand, right? So on a queen jack 10, ace kings the nuts, right? We can't pretend even for a second we have that fucking hand, right? No, there's no universe where we have ace king. None. So if we bet here, right, we get raised a lot by the guy, by the first limper, you know? Maybe not the second limper because he probably doesn't have ace king either. Could, could. But limping with ace king in early position is a thing. It's, a, it's the common approach. I'll be right back, ladies and gents.
right, we are back. Dishes put away. Always feels nice to have a clean kitchen, you know. All righty. Those that don't know what the heck's going on, playing short deck. Short deck means there are no deuces, threes, fours, and fives in the deck. Okay, and other stuff. Flushes beat full houses. Ace can be used as a straight for the, as a five. Jack 10, hello. Jack 10 is one of the better hands. If this was an ICM bubble situation, I'd fucking pedal to the metal. Or if I was suited, I couldn't help myself. I'd have to do it. Okay. It's an okay flop. Pair of tens. Three flush, whatever. Gut shot straight. You know, a little something. Some of the problem is there's five people in the pot. So the odds of someone having a queen or an ace, incredibly high. That's okay. If someone just had ace seven, I'm fine. I'm 50 coin flip against that. Check one time. Go ahead, Dennis. You gonna bet this flop? I doubt it. Be nice, kind of. For if he does bet it, it'll allow me to sort of weed out what's behind. All right, that's not a card that we wanted, huh? Any one of a king, jack, ten, or a heart, you would have been okay with. And I say okay. I mean, the jack's not the best one. Like when you think about eight random cards, the odds that nobody has an ace or a queen is like 80 gazillion to 84 gazillion. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Wonder what would it, what did he have here? What'd you have there, Kosei? Kosei Ichinos. Okay, hold this one. Again, suited is great. It's nice. It's cute. But like, in this game, you play the car. You play the actual value of the hand more. And queen seven is one of the bad ones we talked about. You know, you really want to have straight draws because lots of fuck. Straight is like the most likely hand to win a pot. Straights happen all the time. Think about it, right? If there's only sixes and up. The board is always going to come three cards in the middle of something. You know. Four cards, whatever. And straights are going to happen a lot. Like this hand is ace nine and five nine off suit. Either way, we don't like that hand. Ikaika from Japan. Ikaika. 125,000 in earnings. Kosei Chonos, 350,000 in earnings. Oh, that's cool. You can see the stakers. Huh, that's interesting. On the name. Let me see if I click on my own. I got 55 people who bought a piece of this one. Let's see if we know any of them. A lot of you bought into this one for 0.1% for the full 1%. 55 total people got a piece of me here in this here uh, short deck tournament. Clang, 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 go the dishes. Ring, ding, ding, does the tail. Beep, beep, beep for the mothers. <laughs> okay. Again, similar situation with the 10 6. It's not a good straight draw, right? If it was 10 7, I'd limp. 10 6 is the cutoff for me. 10 8 for sure. 10 9, you're happy. No. But 10 6. Tight. All right, so 
Are we tight? That's the question. Because everyone always like, Dan, you play too tight. I'm like, then I look at the fucking VPIP and my VPIP's always among the highest. In, like in the PLO too, people say, oh, you played too tight. I'm like, what are you missing here? I played lots of hands. Who's got, okay, Dennis played 46%. We played 45. Nobody else at the table has played more hands than us. That's after 165. Pretty close to half the hands you're going to play. Limp for a lot of them. One hour left of late, Reg. So this will be it. The last hour for people to go bonkers. As you can see, we have a zero next to our little chip stack thing. Means This is it. This is our stack on the table, which is 86K from a starting stack of 60,000. And... And, and that's it. And everyone who had a piece is still live. I did not fire another bullet. We are still on bullet number one. Again, it's one of those tournaments where you get a 60K stack. You can choose how to de deploy it. We went with the nitty version, which is to put 20 on. If it lost it, 20 on, lost it, got it back on the third bullet. So what's the average saying? 107. Okay, we have all... Ian, wow, look at that. So right here, the king of hearts obviously is an, is an eight, is a, is a nut fly, but this is a weird spot to check raise, right? Like, is he saying that he has, oh wait, the eight of hearts, pardon me. That makes a straight flush because the ace of hearts counts as a five. Oh, wow, king against queen. But notice like the eight of hearts here, if someone had the eight of hearts, that beats the king of hearts and the queen of hearts. So Kose actually had the third nuts. Wow. Okay, it's going to be a, a limp and possibly a jam against some of these shorter stacks for sure. Wow, oh, king versus queen, such is life. All right, go ahead, Stoyan. If you do it, I'm doing it. No? All right, that's a decent flop for us. And go ahead and fire 40% pot. The decent flop, ace, jack, six, rainbow, not a ton of straights yet. Like, they're not all that connected. The two limpers behind me, the six is going to be an irrelevant card for the most part, although they do have seven, eight, eight, nine. That makes a straight draw, as we said, because an ace counts as a five. All right, now the board is five, six, seven. Right? But against this player, I'm actually going to fire big and then fold to a raise if he does. All right, we're betting big, and this is it. This is the last chips we're putting in. If he raises here, he's just going to have eight fucking nine. Pure. Just pure. What is he going to have? Queen high? Holy fuck. See? It's fucking sick, bro. You have the eight nine. Called with the gut shot. Hit the fucking gut shot. Or has us dead with ace jack. Fucking ace seven. No, we're just fucking dead. Man. Well, we're going to do what we said we are going to do. Jack on the river. Well, that could have counterfeited him. If he happened to have a7 or a6, which is unlikely, we would have won. Huh. I guess I could have checked call too. But I, don't know. I, like, I like the way we played it, actually. Makes it, a, makes it very difficult for him to be bluffing there. Okay, we need a 9. Get back door hearts. Certainly going to check this one and give up. The thing about the button range in these spots, when it's limped around and you don't raise, it's like generally you're going to lean towards 
a weak range. What the hell is that hair doing? I chop my own hair. Sometimes I miss one. <laughs> And someone says, looks like every time there's a break, Daniel does a ton of dishes. Is that how you're paying for the hotel? They let you crash, but you have to do dishes? So I'm not at a hotel. I have a home. I bought a house right on, well, not a, I didn't buy it. We rent a house right on the beach. So yeah, so I'm the man who does the dishes. I'm the man. I'm the man who does the cooking. I'm the man who does the dishes. I'm the man who brings home the bacon. I'm the man. I'm the man. My wife, working her ass off, getting her psych degree. What is going on with the Martian talk in the chat? All right, what do we got? Eight, nine here, jack nine here. Reasonable. Okay, this is a shitty fucking hand. Magur Chio says, we want Gigi Poker in Romania. I hope soon you will have Gigi Poker in Romania, in United States, in America, in Australia, in everywhere in the whole world. Ralph Tazino, what do I think about Jack Morris getting fired for imitating? I think it's ridiculous. It's a mistake. He apologized. I mean, you're going to fire somebody for, you know, from a lapse in judgment, a moment where he's telling a joke and didn't, you know, ah, it's too much. I can't. I can't. I can't. Can't even. <laughs> I mean, fuck me. Please stop drinking water. It's driving me nuts. How's that? Hmm? See what happens when you ask me to do something? I'm going to do the opposite. All right, 60K is 50 pigs. So we have, yeah, we have our starting stack still. 60,000 in chips. 60K it is. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Three big blinds bet in two nine right here on the river with the straight draws and the flush there. Lots of different fool houses could be, could be star bluffing, but with what? Never know, said this boy we are got. This on we have the ace queen in the middle position. Da, 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 da. Booyah kasha. Booyah call in. Booyah kasha in. Booyah call in. Booyah call in. Booyah call in. Come on, Kosi. I don't care. Whatever. Do it. Let's go. Oh, you guys don't want to play? Oh, nobody want to play? It's okay. I'll take it. Oh, you're the king. Oh, 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 Stoyan. Oh, you're the king. Wow, what a lay down. Had a king. What a lay down. Oh, yeah, king. Oh, big deal. King. So there's a fucking interesting spot. Okay, we're gonna go with the 40 again. And this is an easy flop to fold on, even if 
you do have top pair, top kicker, right? That the dangerous uh, range right here is saying win because he's on the button and he can have a whole bunch of like 10 7, 10 6, which Stoyan is not supposed to have. Stoyan can have the 8 9. He could have a 10 jack, 10 queen, but he's really not going to have a whole bunch of fucking really good hands here. Yeah, sweet. That's the desired result. Top pair, top, you want everybody out. A6 suited. We'll go ahead and limp under the gun. Limpity, 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 limp. Limpity, limpity, limpity. All right, we get the nut flush draw. And five, six, and all right. I'm not gonna fold this one, fuck it. I mean, flushes are really hard to make, right? But we, it's the nuts. We can beat a full house. The board pair doesn't mean shit to me, right? Like the turn being a 10 of clubs, that'd be, that'd be okay with me. Probably just check raise jam here. Pretty strong draw. Eight probably doesn't do it. All right, well, it's that. I guess I'll just call. Yeah, I'm not folding, but decide whether or not to get in now or later. You know, Sang's not gonna fold the flop anyways. So who knows, maybe it's a check, check, turn somehow, and then we get a free card. But if not, we're not folding for the 50 bigs anyway. Oh, now we have an ace. <laughs> I don't know, we're dead, but fuck it. Completely dead, but... God, no gamble, no future, right? No gamble, no... F no gamble, no future. Just put the fucking chips in, whatever. Maybe we'll hit a club. I don't care if Kosei calls. If we could somehow get Sang to fold... But he is Jack-8, fucking a lot, so... If he folds 10-9 or a set, somehow, that's pretty juicy. All right, he's not. What do you got? Jack-9. He's got the queen-8 of clubs. Fuck, okay. So I have the best hand? Are you fucking kidding me right now? My ace is good. I have the best hand. Okay, it's a diamond. What does that do? What does he need, an 8 or a 9? 7. Oh my word. We fucking, we fucking did it, yo. Holy shiznit. He had the queen-8 of clubs. I was like, oh, we're dead. Jack-9 over here. We played that actually as it turned out pretty fucking good as it looks. Now we're back to 160 bigs, 188k. Whew. Fucking live by the sword, die by the sword, eh? Club didn't come, but... Uh, all right, against it, if another player goes all in, we're going to fold these jacks. Heads up, we'll play it. Or unless it's saying he's got nine bigs. Oh, fuck. See, I'm going to fold these jacks. Under the gun raise, under the gun re-raise. Nope. No thank you. No thank you, pocket jacks. Ace king, a seven. Ooh, a seven. All right. Oh. Well, we would have won. Straight on the board, they chop. But yours truly had the jacks. I fucking never gonna call there. <laughs> it's fine. Like, when you think about Ikakai's jamming range, ace queen, ace king, right? Which we're not doing great against. And bigger pairs. So fuck that, bro. Not playing jacks there ever. If it's full, oh, what? 64 bags? Folding this one, too. Folding this one as well. As I said, the 10s, 9s, 8s hands, these are not the hands you want to get it in with. They're like calling it off with deuces and threes because you're often going to be up against two overs, which is that your best case scenario, which is a coin flip. And your worst case is they have a bigger pair, which is not good. Okay, once, even if you get it in against ace nine suited, oh, you're not that fucking far ahead. I could run it, but I'm not gonna. We got shorties now. We got some shorties. They're gonna be doing this. Jiminy, jamity, jiminy, jiminy. Average stack, 95 bigs, or antis, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we're going to limp the ace-king. Have one of these dudes jam behind. Okay. 
This could be interesting. If Stoyan limp raises, I'm getting it in with him. I don't care. All right. So I'm, if Stoyan moves in, we're going to call. And if he limp, if he calls, I'm going to move in. Stoyan. All right. Let's go. All of it. This is the pot. Ace king, ace 10, 10 7. All right. Ace or king. There's the king. Okay. What do we need to hold here? All right. He's got the straight. Who gives a shit about him? He's got no chips. We just need to fade a jack. That's the key. No jack. No jack. Booyah kasha. All right. So we lost the fucking little itty bitty main pot, but we scoop, scoop against the jacks and the ace 10. So we got a nice big fucking chunky pot there. Congrats to Nat Sangwin. And I'm a bit like, oh my. So yeah, whatever. He had 23, <laughs> 23 annies. Big deal. We're chip leader. Ha <laughs> ha, just like that. Guess who's the chip fucking leader? Guess who's the fucking chip fucking leader right now? Do I want to dump it off right here for 66 bigs right now? Nah. Nah. Let me see. Ace queen, ace jack. Jack, nah. Nah, I'm gonna actually fold this fucking beautiful hand here. Hang on to these chips right now. Yep, sweet, okay. All right, that's pretty fucking sweet. We are the chip leader, ladies and gents. And look at all these shorties here. We can just fucking stick it in. Boom, 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 boom. Look at this, King Jack, Ace 10. I'll show you what the number is after, but okay, we 24%. Quarter of the time, we're gonna hit the street. Now it's 15%, but I'm gonna look at it exactly. Okay, so we lost one. Small, you had 10, 10, 10 antes. So what? So what? I'll show you what, ace, ace 10 versus King Jack, right? You wonder like, what were the odds on that hand? The odds were, so Ace 10, 53%, King Jack, 47%. Coin flip, not like in regular hold'em guys. This is short deck, short deck. Won the key pot with the ace king. You can tell my wife. She always likes to know. Crazy, crazy game. We are the chip leader of this game. Right now. Nice chip lead, too. Remember Kopoba? He's second on his second bullet. So this is looking good, uh, ladies and gentlemen who have a piece. You are doing well. You are in it to win it alongside yours truly, the chip leader right now of the 5K Short Deck Championship event. All right. And we went from 50 bigs to boom, boom, boom. Wow. You guys are still on the other big hand that I won. Oh, no, that was the big hand. No, 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 that was before this big hand. So I had two big hands, right? Because we had the A6 of clubs. We went we. We got it in. Good. And then, of course... We uh, just had this one, so you guys will catch up and be like, what? Swingy game, people. The chips will dance. Twilight Steve, the ace is low. It does act as a high card. You are wrong. It is both a high card and a low card. So the ace can be used to make an ace high straight up top, and it can also be used to make a nine high straight. All right, everybody's fucking all in. 9-10, king, king, ace, 10. Who do you like? So far, we like the ace, 10. Okay, now we like who the fuck, who knows? Who this guy, that guy. Jason Coon's in there with the old jack eight. Yeah, some fucking short deck pro there, eh? Jack eight off suit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's fucking sh no chips. All right, so what the fuck happened here? We got uh, ace, 10. Looks like it won. What did I have? Queen eight. Ace, 10 gets all that fucking money right there. Cooner. Cooner, sup? Say hello. Say hello to Coon. All right, I'm gonna tell. 13 bigs. Okay, call that. All right. What's 
going on with my camera? Okay, there we go. All right. All right, Jason Kuhn, I just finished telling my audience while I'm streaming here, you know, how good you are at this game. And then the first hand we see is some Jack Adolf suit shit. Come on, buddy. Put it together. Play some poker. What is this hand I just lost? Boo. Ah, such is life. Good luck, kid. Michael Zhang beat us on the river. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nine against 30. All right, I'm going to fold this one. Michael's gambling now. What happened to my snap cam? Delayed? I don't know. Should happen sometimes, bro. <laughs> ace seven, there it is. You get the ace. All right. All right, Jason Kuhn, I just finished telling my audience while I'm streaming here, you know, how good you are at this game. And then the first hand we see is some Jack Adolf suit shit. Come on, buddy, put it together. Play some poker. What is this hand I just lost? Boo. Ah, such is life. Good luck. <laughs> All right, Kuhn's on his last bullet. 13 antis, as you can see. All right, we've got a limp here from Michael. We're going to raise it up. Eight point four. Mm-hmm. That's an interesting flop. We are going to bluff at it. Bluff at it with the king queen. If he jams, we're obviously folding. Have nothing. But we could catch the ten. Right? He could have straight draws. We could actually have the best hand with king-queen, too. Don't forget, 9-10, queen-10, king-10s, different things. Ooh, there's a straight. Okay, the flush got there, too, though. But that's all right. It's hard to make flush. It's hard to have a flush. If he bets, we call. That's it. It's not like regular hold'em, peeps. He's going to bluff at it a lot here, I think. I think for him to limp call, he should be suited a decent amount of the time. He's thinking about it. I'm not even going to bother. I'll just fucking take my money. Ace 10. No, king queen. Probably should value bet there. No, no. Okay, so we doing good here. King, queen. All right, let's see. What do we got? Shorties here. So now we're going to start. Oh, wait. I'm going to actually make it three. What is it? Two, 2.5. So that coon can raise, and then I could re-raise. Nice. Chop it up. Coon's just firing right now, right? Because he's trying he's trying to build a stack. Tough when you get in with like he's got 30 minutes left of late reg. He's on his last bullet of this one. Let's see, we're gonna go 2.5 again. Or no, you know what? I'm gonna limp. Never mind. I don't need to raise this hand. What am I saying? I can do limp. Never mind. Limp call coon. Nope, you folded. 
off of 6.8 antes, blinds, whatever you want to call them. Check. Oh, wow, I didn't even see Sang in there. All right, I'll fold. Yeah, that's true. If you have pocket tens, more than half of the deck is cards over a ten. So you're never gonna you basically have to hit a ten most of the time. Oh whoa, hold on. Jesus. Fuck, I just realized it went on for five bigs. Almost had to auto fold on, which I can't fold anything against them there. Kings. Uh oh you got a king. Straight. Oh, fuck. See? Because of the six. All right, new table. We got a new, we got a new, new jamming monkey. Isaac Haxton, short chipped. He's going to be gambled. I don't mean monkey in a negative way. Just, you know, your short, short stacks just, they're like, you know, they got to play like monkey a little bit. Just, wee, get it in, right? Look at that. Flush draw against three aces. That's the thing. This third ace doesn't really help. It's whatever. Because if he hits a heart, he hits a heart. Yep, there it is. Boom, flush. Doesn't matter what that card is. He made a flush. Not flush. See? Ace-9, full house. Look. Ace-9, full house. Lose. Watch the chips go to Judd Trump. Full house, ace-9. Right? Loses to the king I flush. See? You finally see it there. Full house, lose. Okay, we got Dario Sammartino on a stack here. I'm going to limp this one. Behind Fortnite Pro. I will call a Dario San Martino raise if he chooses to. Okay, that's a 9 9 queen. This is a checkable flop over to Dario. Checkable flop over to Dario. Okay, check to Dario. Go ahead, Dario, you can bet. See, Dario's range. Has nine six nine seven nine five nine shit nine nine goofiness. Now I can bet. Now that he's checked, he sort of did the nine check. He probably doesn't have one. Fortnite Pro bets. I'm gonna call. Let's go for two thirds pot in this one. Boom. Definitive size bet. Fold fold please. It's weird. You have this hand. You're like please fold please fold. Let's go away. And such is life. We pick up another one. Okay. Dario San Martino. Eh? We have Isaac Haxton. We have the idiot. And then we have Fortnite Pro. <laughs> Fortnite Pro. All right. Haxton off of 10. Still going to call. If he moves, he moves. A fold. Fine. Okay. Or no. Actually, if he moves, an idiot. Idiot's never folding. He's not limb folding, so... I will over, I would fold to the second one. If he calls, I'll fold. Yeah, or jams, I'll fold. Do ace jack suited, king nine off. Haxton just going for it, as they say. As who says? People. What does he got now? He needs a nothing. He needs a doctor, a king. It could be a king. It's a diamond. Could be the king of diamonds. Let's see. Ten. Okay. Straight king high, no good against straight ace high. Haxton. <laughs> Busto. Probably rebuying. But imagine, see how crazy it is right now? So many guys are buying in for essentially what would be... Okay, so the ante is 1,600. All right? So if you do the thing where you get three stacks and you do one, you're starting with uh, 13 bigs, 13.3 uh, antes. Which is just a wee, sh you know, shove it in, ship it in. Shove it in, ship it in, ship it in, shove it in, shove it in. Shove it in, shove it in, shove it in, shove it in, shove it in. Play some short deck with the boys, eh? Short deck poker with the boys. 109 entries, 43 remain.
Fortnite Pro. I see what you did there. Fortnite Pro. Fortnite Pro has three eights against top two. Hmm, wow. Wawa Wiwa. Unlucky there for the idiot. Big pot. Big, big pot. The board did pair, but Kings and Jacks was not the one that it paired with. So, pocket eights with the big, big hold. So now you see the idiot sitting on 11 and a half bigs. And then in... Well, Ten jack suited is not the best hand, guys, next to ace king. The best hand is a hand we haven't had, which is crazy. Is aces. It's still the best hand, pocket aces, guys. You think you want jack 10 against pocket aces? No. No. Jack 10 suited is a nice hand, guys, but don't get it don't get it freaking messed up. It's just cuz it does fine, you know. But aces is the one you want. Aces, kings, ace, king, still good fucking hands. Don't be like, oh, yeah, but I have jack 10. Oh, good for you, you know, still. There, jack 10, straight. Watch how many times jack 10 makes it straight. Count them up. Jack 10, straight. Ace, no good. Ace, king, no good. Kings, board pair. Do, 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 do. Chat going bonkers. Mm -mm. Someone said the software is broken. It's short deck, people. A flush beats a full house. Thought we've established that. This song coming to you from Hadgali, Ali Danto, whatever that means. Mm. Coffee coming on break, what do you think? You guys are gonna be like, what? Check full, yeah. Oh, well, I'll just wait. This is the worst hand in the, in the deck. Jack six offsuit. The worst hand in the deck. I'd rather have six seven, even though that's shit too. Dario San Martino, 48% of hands played. Peter Zhao, 36% tight. The idiot, 35% tight. Fortnite Pro, 39, okay. Yours truly at 44, perfect. Oasis, 49, over to 35 hands and 70 hands. Yeah. Interesting how the number of hands I play in PLO is usually right around 40%. It can be a little bit higher than this, but you know, pretty similar. <laughs> what a pretty day, man. Beautiful outside.
Beautiful. Beautiful day to win a bracelet, huh? We got a little infinity pool here right by the beach. Fucking beautiful, man. Should I flip the screen and show you guys one time? Scene one, beach view, seen it all, right? I know you. WTF, flush wins. Flush wins? How does flush win? Hmm, Giuliano Di Tullio, do you remember my friend Dario Minieri? Love Dario Minieri. Who doesn't love Dario Minieri? I remember when he was in love with uh, Isabel Mercier. I love you so much. <laughs> He's just funny. Is that the real Dario Sammartino at the table? It is the real Dario Sammartino, who on our site here has 5.8 million in tournament earnings. Baller status. Okay, this is going to be a limp with the 8-9. Notice now, well, the idiot's short, but we don't have as many shorties right now. Peter Zhao, kind of short, a 40. Antis. <laughs> 20 minutes left till the tournament starts. 20 minutes left. Everybody has to come out of their woodworks with their little behind the, you know, their stacks that they're saving. All bullets go into play. We will play down to the final seven, I believe, or seven or six, final table. What does it say? Play down to seven. So we'll play down to seven players, which again, there are 41 left, will not take too long. Okay, so we have a pair of nines and a gut shot straight draw, okay? The six makes us a straight. You understand? Six makes us a straight because the ace is a five as well. Got it? Should I say this 20 more times? I mean, I understand. It's new to you guys. I'm not, not being facetious. All right, we can win this pot a couple ways. Five to win 20, we're getting four to one. Yeah, we got a call. A little concerned about Peter Zhao calling button, right? This button could have six eight easily, and that makes a straight already. Well, that's not the card. That's not the card. A nine on the turn would have been okay. Six would have been fine. And then even like we were gonna we had plans to bluff. Like if a 10 or a jack came, I was thinking about if it goes checked around on turn, we could just bomb the river. Gotta be thinking about bluffs too, you know. Man, I'm done with that. You see, sometimes we bluff, we get caught, but we gotta bluff. Gotta bluff. Oh, what did that make? We would've made the straight. But easily lose to a full house there. You know? Ace, if he probably had an ace, if he can bet the fucking turn. So, what I mean, it's very reasonable that his voice kicker's on board. Does ace count for low or high for the straight? Both. If you have ace queen and it comes king jack 10, you have the straight. Okay? If you have ace six and it comes seven, eight, nine, you also have the straight. Queens, kings. Queens, kings. Oh, I would have made. Well, no, I would have been dead to the kings. So the queen of diamonds can still win. Queens can still win with a diamond, and that's not a diamond. Crazy game, right? Big pot there for Peter Zhao. Is it Zhao? I'm going to go with Zhao. Zhu. Zhao Zhu from China. China. I think this is going to be a raise and then 
a fold to a jam. Okay, if he jams, I'm actually going to fold this fucking hand. Because a jam here is going to have me fucking destroyed. It's going to be ace-king, ace-kings. Well, kings don't have us destroyed. Queens. This is interesting with some deepies. Some deeper stacks now. I think I'm going to go ahead and raise this one coming in. If he limps, I'll raise. If he folds, I'm going to raise. Just seven. Seven. Let's go to seven. And we have to call it off if he jams, which is fucking brutal because he's got a lot of chips. But a jam could be ace, king, two. Take it. Best result. Seven, eight suited. That's going to be a limp. Limp along with Watson, who's got both of his freaking. He's running up on that first bullet. 16 minutes till re entry is fini. Definitely need coffee. Feeling it. If you love the shirt, Cobra Kai, strike first, strike hard, no mercy. You can find these at the bottom. It says at contendersclothing.com. Use promo code KIDPOKER20. KIDPOKER20. Use that promo code. You save 20% off purchases. I, I, I mean, I'm always wearing their underwear. I, like, what do I got? I got on Rocky underwear right now. Yeah, I got Rockies on. Um, they got old Rocky stuff. They got all the Cobra Kai, Karate Kid. Blood sport now too. Muhammad Ali line. Really cool stuff. And it's really good quality material. No joke. I mean, I sell t-shirts. I make what? I'll probably make $3 billion a year just off selling these. You know? 20% off. $3 billion approximately. Maybe uh, with that $3 billion, I'll buy one of them fucking punk rocks. The fucking rock punk thing. Pick punk rock. Buy a rock. Oh, $4 million. Thirteen million bucks for this fucking ugly pixeled fucking picture of a fucking rock. Eh, up thirteen million. I see the value. It's fucking yep. I mean, I know it's a thing. People are trying, but what the fuck is going on in this world right now? We're fucking. I don't even understand it. Right? Do you? Do you get this shit? I mean, I get these NBA moments. You buy a little clip of this. You buy a, a fucker. You paid eight million dollars for an ugly fucking pixelated picture of a fucking. Random dude, like what the hell, man? Y'all, you know, it's, oh, flush again. What, what, what do you want me to tell? I don't get it, you know. Sometimes you just don't get it. Queen Jack suited. Very nice hand. Very nice hand. Very, 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 very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice to flat. See what happens behind me. We got Dario and Peter Zhao, Michael Watson. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, I don't get it, man. I just, I mean, I well, fuck. I understand that I'm, I don't that it's me. It's not you guys. But what the fuck, man? I don't, I don't get how people are spending millions of dollars on this fucking shit. So investments, sure. If you see it as like, but like to own it and be like, I own this. I paid thirteen million dollars for it. I don't fucking, I don't, am I wrong? What the fuck, dude? I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't, I've seen some of the shit and I'm like, what, what is, okay, I'm going to show you some of the shit that I, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Now Visa's getting in on the act. Okay, just 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 bear with me for a minute. I'm gonna show you this shit in a minute. Okay, 
This is from my fucking phone. Okay, take a look at this thing. Okay, is that objectively like really like super cool to you? Well, guess what? As you can see there, it sold for $5.3 million. Somebody bought this fucking thing that I could screenshot and now I own it too. Look at that, it's on my phone. Huh? What do you know? Look at that. I just stole it from you. And he paid $5.3 million for this. What the fuck is going on? Right? Right? All right, what do we got? Ace, queen. All right, we can limp call jam. No, we don't have to. But what is it? What is up, man, with this? I don't, I don't get it. Sorry. But it's art. I'm okay, but it's ugly. Not even nice. I mean, objectively, I guess, ever it's in the buy of the holder. All right, what do we have? Nothing? You're welcome, Paul Sterling. It's a disturbing film to watch, but I think it's an important watch. It's what they say in the film. You don't want to watch this film. You don't want to see it, but you need to see it. Yeah. Coffee time, two minutes. This is GG Poker, more Cohen. The absolute best poker software in the world ever existed in the history of mankind. Even the Mayans back in the day when they played online poker, they didn't have software like this. But who knows, maybe they did. I doubt it though, man. GG's next level. So yeah, do you get that shit, right? And now you sell a rock, Ether Rock. Um, Haralabo's tweeting about a rock. Somebody fucking paid, I'm gonna show you his Twitter. Fucking rock. Man, I don't know. I'm the idiot, I know, Don't. I'm not like mocking, I'm just fucking so confused. Yeah, he's talking about rocks. Ether rocks. I'm gonna show you one of these fucking rocks. Okay, look at this fucking thing. This sold for 1.3 million bucks. Look at that. What the fuck? That's an image of that. Ether Rock. Look at that fucking thing. Sold $1.3 million. Just so you're right, that. Somebody bought that. Somebody bought the rights to own that for $1.3 million. Bucks. They, they bought the rights to own something that I could take a screenshot of and go, well, this is an ugly thing I have on my phone. I'll use it as my screensaver. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. But you own it. Cool. Congrats. That's uh, too much money syndrome, I think. I guess, unless it becomes a thing, you know, I get it. For the investors that are sharp, fuck yeah, go do your thing. Take advantage. But overall, wow. If I, but I, I tell you what, so I get it. You know, people say, well, it's similar to the art world. You know, you buy paintings. And I'm like, equally fucking, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get that shit either. Oh, I bought the Mona Lisa for $30 million. Do I win? No. I bought the Mona Lisa. $30 million. $30 million for the Mo Mona Lisa, whatever. Oh, fuck. Stupid. She's not even smiling in the damn picture.
C'est important maintenant. Avez un café? What? Tim Hortons brought to you by. Oh my God, my head's out of it. Let's go. Got to focus. Got to stop talking to you people so much. Maybe I'll, uh, on the break, I'll buy a fucking rock. A crypto rock. Buy some rocks. So yeah, I like this anyway, art, right? So the Mona Lisa, whatever it's worth. So people buy it because it's the original, there's something about that, it's cool, but like really, it's just like your own fucking, it's just kind of weird, right? Like, if I had a painting that I bought, and I thought, okay, this is the Mona Lisa, it's the original, whatever. So I found out like later it's a fake. People are so disappointed, but you loved the thing before. And now you found out it was a fake. Who gives a shit? Really? I get it, because you feel like you got duped or whatever. But if you're not planning on reselling it, you're just trying to own it. It's the same exact thing in terms of the beauty of it. Oh, but they never touched the person's hands. I never understood that. Autographs, like people ask me for autographs, I say yes. Because I, but I don't want an autograph. What am I going to do with that? I mean, well, I'm going to ask Alex Tuck for the first time. Ah, whatever, it's fine. But I was, you know, at the game, whatever, Alex Tuck... You know, we talked on the phone or whatever. And then he's like, he had, I have, where I have a tuck, tuck Yad jersey on. And he signs it. I'm like, cool. I don't know. It's nice, but like, I don't need it signed. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's kind of. I sign stuff. People ask me, sign this picture, sign it. I do it for you. If you like it, you enjoy it, good for you. I'll do it. No problem. No problem. Happy. Want a picture? That's fine too. That's different, I think. All right, let's focus here. Ace nine didn't play. All right, so what is the deal? Leg Reg is over in three minutes. Da da da. Ladies and gentlemen, on the first bullet, you will still be alive. No reentry, guys. You don't realize this, but when you buy a piece of me on these first bullets, I grind these bullets from the first hand, which is oh, I don't relate, Reg. I play my best game that I can for you. The only time that would not be the case is if it's very late in the rebuy period and we're short, kind of on chips. I will gamble which will be maybe slightly negative EVE. But for the most part, for the hours and hours that I've put in since we started at 11, four hours, I grinded my best, you know? And I'll always do that for you. Um, as long as you get that, you know, when we, if, if we're short and it's late, we're gonna, we're gonna, take, we're gonna take some liberties. It is. It is a little bit of, thing, of a status thing. Like if you're a wealthy person, you got all this money, what are you going to spend it on? So you buy these paintings to put in your home, right? So you can like show off basically, right? It's kind of like the same as the watch thing. Like I said, I've talked about this. This watch, okay? I've seen guys $150,000 watches. I'm like, oh, what does your watch do? So it tells the time. Which time? J just the local time. Oh, wow. No shit. That's what you're... How much did you pay for that watch? Well, it's 150000 bucks. Because you know what my watch does? 300 bucks. This fuck, I can text message people. I can take a fucking video. I can listen to music. I can fucking check my heart rate. I can uh, do fitness tests and different things. I can fucking put, set a timer. I can do, like, look at the score app. I got, I can call an Uber. I can do all that fucking for this watch. But you, big shot, you got a $150,000 watch because, oh, yeah, it tells time. I've always been, like, logical, practical when it comes to stuff like that. It just never makes sense to me. I just don't fucking get it. But again, I'm not trying, I'm really not trying to mock people. I'm not, it's hard not to for me because it's like so crazy to me. But you know, if that's what you're into, you know, so be it. But it's just, I don't get it. You know, for me, it, I don't, it does not compute. I remember Howard Letterer had one of them watches. So it was fucking, <laughs> it's like a $200,000 watch he's wearing, right? And it didn't even have a fucking face. It was just like, you could see the inner work. He's like, look at the beauty. I'm like, buddy, you're bro you, you just paid for a $200,000 watch. It doesn't even have a face. It looks broken. <laughs> looks like a broken watch, bro. 200 k You paid for that? What the hell, man? I mean, I'll draw a rock. What, maybe I should start making draw rocks and be like, oh, you're going to buy fucking 3 million bucks. Look at my rock. What? I got a beautiful rock. Look at that. Whoa, look, I made the, what if I add a little... What if I add a little, like, uh, stick out the top of the rock, right? A sword, okay? We'll make it a gold knight's thing, and I'll charge $18 million for this fucking thing. Ether rock. 9-7 to diamonds. Look at that fucking flop.
Okay, Dean Eggs, we are officially do 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 do. Nine of 50, 50 left, 20 places will be paid. Wow, 20 places out of 50. So ICM is going to come into play in this fucking thing. When ICM plays a role, if we're doing good on chips, which we plan to be, we will push the envelope because the min cash is going to be, what does it say? The min cash is 9,000 bucks, which would put us in the profit. First place, 169, okay. Got nine six. Going to check this one out. No, there's a few. There's very few games where ICM pressure is more just messed up than in this game, because like I said, you call. Oh, I call with kings. Big deal. You're never that far in front with kings against people's just random two card jamming range. And sometimes when it. So do you guys understand what ICM means? I think I've talked about it enough. I guess the the easiest way to explain it is, uh, or explain how it how it you know, practically how it's applied is like when there are spots where people are on a money bubble, right? They're forced to play more conservative to wait for other guys to go broke. So if there's a guy with one big blind and you have 12, which is short, guy moves all in and you have a pretty good fucking hand, but you wait two hands, this guy's out. You have to fold those hands, right? So when that's the case, those people in that, in, in jeopardy like that, they're sort of like handcuffed financially to do the financial thing by the chip leaders who can just raise every pot. In this game, it's even worse, okay? Because in this game, like, the, you know, you could be moving in with any two and you're not, you're not even doing that bad when you get caught. 53 bigs, it's a full. Makes sense? Let's use an extreme example. Oh no, I just did. That's a good enough example, I think. Yeah, so imagine this, okay? You're in a tournament, you're right on the bubble, okay? The guy under the gun has one big blind left, so he's gonna be all in the very next hand. Okay. Under the gun plus one goes all in for heaps. You have an average stack, right? And you pick up ace king. Good hand, right? Ace king, yeah, you know, what are you gonna do? Ace king. You know, you know hold them or this game, right? If the guy has a pair, you're flipping, you know, if he doesn't, so whatever, you, you know, you're, you're ahead two, three to one. But in a lot of spots, like you're just supposed to fucking fold. Because if you fold, you wait, you, you avoid that spot, very next hand, you likely guarantee that money without having to play a pot. So in those kind of situations, it makes tournament poker interesting or less interesting, depending on what you want to say. But in this game, like I said, that ICM pressure is even more brutal. Like that's why I think this game should be played pot limit before the flop. Because if you played a pot limit before the flop, now you can actually see flops. But here, somebody goes all in and you have two kings. Like there's spots where you just have to fold the fucking kings, even though you know the guy's moving in with any two cards. You have to fold kings? Come on. All right, we got our turf. Attacking our limp. This is marginal, but... Very marginal, but I will go ahead and see the flop with him. Now we've got jacks and eights. There are three spades on board. I'm going to check for sure. So we're now way ahead of a hand like ace-king, ace-queen, as long as it's not spades. Okay, now... On that turn... We have a lot of nine. We have a lot of really good hands here. He doesn't have much nine ten. I'm gonna bet big. Bet big with the jack eight. All right, sweet. I'll just take it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Happy to have it. Ship it. Archer, by the way. Marito. What do we have here? Ten. I can't see my hand. Ten nine suited. I'm gonna go ahead and limp. Notice we haven't really raised before the flop very much at all when we first in. Fourteen million in earnings for Archer. Maratori is in. He's a high stakes player. I'm sure, he's well versed in this game as well. Michael Watson. Mad Dog. Oh, look at that. Oh, so he doesn't have to put his stack into play yet? Wow. So we are through the rebuy period. I guess he's got more time. Because Watson, you can see, has two uh, two stacks left. Oh, wait. I thought you had to put them in. All right. So we're going to call this raise. Going to call this raise. Not jam, because he doesn't fold. He's not raising to fold. So we're going to see a flop. Because, listen, 9-10 suited has really, really, really good equity here. And we flopped a straight draw. Eight outs here. I'm going to go ahead and check once. Let's see? I could even just jam. Bah. 
Okay, we need an eight. The king could be a problem if he has ace 10 exactly, but we got backdoor spades. Again, flushes are really hard to make, so. She's betting two thirds pot. All right, he's not folding, so we're gonna call. And there's an ace. Check, and now we actually are going to fold, I think. 38 to win. Yeah, we have to fold. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to check and fold. All right, never mind. He checked back to turn, huh? Could have king 10 still. Could be trapping, but I don't think so. We have a 10. Just put him in. He does not have a flush. What is it? Ace, queen, ace, jack? I don't know. I'm just glad he checked back the fucking turn. He got there. 8, 9, 10, jack, queen. All right. Show the 10 of spades. I'm so good. <laughs> Fuck with him. Make him think I bluffed him. <laughs> yeah. I like doing that. It's funny. I'm streaming, so he'll see it anyway, probably. If he decides. I think maybe that Watson might have had ace-king. I don't know, I think he... I don't know what he had. Maybe kings? Not sure. Don't know. Jack-10 suited, maybe? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know what he had. Archer limping. We're going to limp. A little queen-10 action in the cutoff position. Look at that. Archer's playing. Well, it's, he's only been at the table for nine hands, but... So of the players that we've played a decent amount with, we're playing more pots than they are because we're loosey-goosey. It's amazing to me when some people who watch me tell me I, I play too tight. I'm like, well, do you not see the numbers? Like, they show them on the screen. I'm always playing more hand, as many hands as anybody. Very rarely is that not the case. All right, I'm going to check this flop. That's a, not a good card. I'm going to say, all things considered, that's a very bad card. There was a lot of really, there was very few bad cards in the turn. King and a jack was really the only bad cards. Well, a 10 too. Forty-four remain. Twenty places will be paid. What is this game? This is short deck. Queen, this is borderline, like queen seven suited, I'm folding, but queen eight suited. We do have nine, 10 jack. We are late, we are doing quite well with the chips. Okay, now we can certainly bluff this one. Bluff slash, yeah, just bluff. This is a bluff here. Big bet. Basically, we're trying to get a 9 out. A 10 should fold here a lot, too. Just like if you, someone has, like, 10-6 or 10-king or whatever. Will I be able to barrel this? Let's see. Let's see what Fortnite Pro does. We are bluffing. Big time. And now we are done with the bluff. But in getting two calls, we are now officially done with the bluff on the board pair. That's not a good card for the range of the better. So I'm not betting two pair type hands here. I'm betting straights or shit like fucking garbage we have. So this is going to be a check and get out of the way. Excuse me, moi. I tried. Someone said, what is the difference between that rock and Bitcoin? Big difference. Because 
that crypto rock thing as far as i know right bitcoin you use i pay people i'm like i'll use some money i'll pay you some bitcoin right i'm not gonna pay you a rock i guess i could in theory but like it's not we pay a piece of the rock you own 14 percent of the rock now so for example let's say a bitcoin is worth fifty thousand dollars which it is right i can send you half a bitcoin 25 i owe you 25 000, i'll just send you half a bitcoin cool done you're gonna send half a rock that you own of a painting of a this i don't know it don't make no sense you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Still first bullet, ladies and gentlemen. I guess you can keep your bullets all the way through. I thought that... At the end of level 16, all unredeemed stacks. Okay, so what level are we in? So, so in 10 minutes... Watson over here is going to have to put his two uh, rebuys into play or his extra chips. So if you look at the stack, Watson has 80,000, right? But really he's got 120 because each one of those behind is worth... Well, this guy making a little cutesy dootsy raise. Cutesy, 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 stabby raise, you raise, cutesy, cutesy, 3x, cutesy, cutesy. No, no, not so cute anymore, is it? Oh boy, you got it, Oasis? I don't think you do. Don't think you do, Oasis. But what's it in this game? There's no such thing. This is, man, I got two cards. Yeah, we. What are you doing, bro? You gonna fucking 3x fold? What the hell? No. Ace, queen, ace, 10. Okay, big deal. What did I have? The nuts on the flop. I need to hit a 10. Ah, the best hand ever wins. And that's dead. Okay, Watson has to put in either one of two. I think he's going to put in one. One bullet to buy in for... What is he going to have? Like, almost no fucking button. He's got the choice now. 20,000 represents... Seven big... Seven, seven antis. So he's, he's deciding to keep seven on table and seven behind. Because it's like, you know, one extra life. All right, he's doing it, seven. Doing his money. Queen 10 suited, A6 suited. Hmm. Pretty good spot there for Watson. He's just got to fade three tens. Nope. And he just goes from 7 to 22. Triple up with the annies that are out there and the call. Very nice. And he's got, of course, his 7 behind, too, just in case things go poorly. If he moves in for 21 antis, I will call with King-10 suited. I will. I will do it. It's 20 more to win. 27. More than worth it. Yeah, wow. Is, is Peter Zhao limping to... I think he's limping to fucking call it off, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. He's only got 35. All right, let's go. That's pretty good. 20 to win 28. All right. Well, he's got us dominated, but so what? We know the never the best hand never wins. Not in this game. Like now we might chop it, but you know, best hand can't win. See what I tell? Best hand doesn't. He's not gonna win. As long as you understand in short deck, you want to have the worst hand, always, and you're going to do just fine. Get it in with the worst hand and catch. Silly, silly game, right? All right, so we are fifth out of 39, sitting pretty with 177 anties. It says BB, but essentially it means ante. Works the same. Dean eggs is super tight. Okay.
This is a very bad hand, the Jack-7 offsuit. Phew. If he folds, I'm getting six to one to just defend against the, the random button hand. So you gotta just donate the one. All right, Caps keeps asking, why is there so much limping? It's because of the structure of the game. Everybody antes one, okay? One chip, so there's six out there. The big blind has two chips in, so it's just one to call. Just one. One little chip to see the flop. So that's different than in Hold'em, or like regular. You're just getting like really good price. Short deck can be fun, like I said, not for the faint of heart. You're never like, oh, I'm, he's drawing dead. <laughs> There's no drawing dead. It's a rarity. 37 players remain. This will be a limp. And this will be actually a fold if somebody does raise. I'm going to limp fold this one. But look, we limped because look, there's six out there. It's just one to call. Okay, now we're going to go. I'm going to bet the bottom. This is bottom of our range right here. Jack fucking seven. Okay, now we have a little something something where we can bluff this. Now we're going to go bomb, bomb, bomb. We can catch a nine to make a straight or a queen to make a straight. But really what we're doing here is we're just going to fucking be bluffing if we miss. The only thing we don't want to see is a board pair, which is a lot of cards. But most random bricks, we're just going to jam. Mm -hmm. See, you bluff a lot. You can bluff a lot. When I have the bottom of my range, you're, you're going to see a lot of bluffs from me there. And the reason I can do that on the ace, right, is a couple things. He limped the button. He didn't raise, right? So my range is going to be better than his because I limped voluntarily. So queen jack is the nuts, right? I have a jack, okay? So I block it. He also doesn't have a quite queen jack as often as I do on the button. He's going to have any two cards. Queen jack is very within the reasonable hands that I would bet the limp, bet the flop with, smack the ace on the turn. Look at that. Okay, so we got king 10 against ace queen. He needs an ace 10, 4, and 9. And there's the ace. Straight. Oh, what did I tell you about best hand? See? King 10, ace queen. What do you think that was? Ace queen against king 10 spades. I'm going to show you, just so you see. I'll show you the odds. The odds on that hand was ace queen was 52.6%. King 10 suited was 47.4. So you see what I'm saying? Coin flip. Ace queen against king 10. It's... Flippity flippity. You gotta get used to that in your brain. Like when you're used to playing regular Holden. Alright. Lots and jams, I'm coming. Nope, he did not jam. So yeah, you ask if there's bluffing, there's plenty of bluffing. In a lot of ways, similar to PLO or whatever, in a lot of ways there's more bluffing opportunities, in a, in a way. Because there are certain spots where the concept of capped ranges really play a role, where you, you just have unlimited and your opponent cannot have certain hands. And in those spots, you can really push him to the fucking metal. Like that hand with the jack seven. What's he gonna do? I call it, bet the turn. He's just, and I jam the river. Is he just gonna call with fucking an ace, a king, two pair? like? Okay, it's tough. Well, we need a jack. Four jacks left. Of 30 cards. Remaining. What you can do, Fortnite Pro? You really gonna fire that? I guess you could. 
So that flop, a7-8, by the way, right on the flop, 6-9 was a straight. Don't forget, the ace can play as a five. Dun 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 Kopoba is our chip leader. We're sitting nice and pretty. Four out of 37. This is a fold. I mean, God, God that sucks to ever fold against a 12 big blind. Or I see 12 anti jam, but I'm not interested. It's 11 to win 18. So I would have to call 11 to win 18, and I have probably okay, but I'm not going to fucking do it. I'll just let him survive. Such a bad hand, right? If I have like queen 10 there, slam dunk. Slam dunk. If I have an ace in my hand, I'm just slam dunk. I have most hands. Queen 6 off. If there's a fold, you found one. That's reasonable. Do -do -do. Do 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 Ikaika, Michael Watson, Fortnite Pro, Oasis, Arthur. Martyrosian from Cyprus. <laughs> Big jam here for Archer to call. Chooses not to. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to raise this one myself. Do, do, do. I'm going to raise this one myself, and we call off. So we've just raised, if he moves in, yeah, we've got 25 to win. It doesn't really matter. 25 to win, 41. <laughs> Fucking slam dunk call. Remember, we know ace-queen against king-10 suited is 50-50. Uh, so once again, I told you, don't play the, the best hand. You really don't want to have the best hand going in pre-flop. You want to have the worst hand, because then it just feels better. So we win again, because King-10 suited. And I'm going to show you. Even though this one, was, he happened to have a hand that had us um, kind of dominated, I'm going to show you what the percentages were, just so you see. Just so you see against the short stack. Just so you see. All right, so he was 62-37. So we had 37% equity, which was plenty, right? Getting the price we were being laid. It was, uh, we put in 5, 10, 16, so there's 16 dead, 25 to win 40, is 5 to win 8, yeah, it's good.
And that's against the specific hand that he had, right? We're not counting in all the flips. Or if he had ace-queen, for example. Ace-queen, we're 50-50. Sixes, huh? Against the queen-jack. The queen on the river. Ba -ba -ba Three of 33. We are getting closer and closer to where ICM pressure puts these guys in the grinder. 33 left. Pays 20. Taking a look-see. Yep. Won't be too long before we get to that point where we have to now consider opening up even more and consider some alternatives or some additional strategies with some open raises versus limps because people can't really play. Some open jams, too. Good we have a uh, position on Fortnite Pro. It's very helpful. <coughs> He's another one of the big stacks. We're both sitting pretty. Top five stacks, I believe. All right, what do we have here? We have top pair 10. Uh, awkward spot here. Uh, now one of the few times we're out of position against Fortnite. The only time we're out of position against them. In a spot where he has 6-8, we don't. So this is a little risky. I probably should check. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have just checked. And that's a fold. Very well done. Okay, eight on the turn. We were just very nice. But yeah, probably should have checked there because of his stack size, because of the board texture. And again, I guess we have jack eight too. Yeah. He has jack eight. We have jack eight. But suited only. Ace queen suited. This will be happily getting in against Ikaika or Michael Watson. Okay, ace queen suited. What do you got? King 10, okay. Coin flip, pretty much. Yeah, see what we told you about getting in with the best hand? We made a mistake. Now we need a seven, no? Oh, no, no, because he has a 10. Seven was make a straight, but he'd make a 10 high straight. See, we have the ace, five, six, yeah, he has the 10. Okay, so I made a mistake there by playing the best hand. I'll learn from that, and I won't do that again. Should have realized ace queen suited was gonna be the best hand, and you wanna have the worst hand. Well, you haven't been watching Mark Reif. If you have not seen me bluff much, I don't know. When people say that, I don't understand what they're talking about. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, what to, I don't know what to tell you, <laughs> but you're wrong. <laughs> Overall, I guess. I guess you don't know, the, I guess, the pure definition of a bluff, like, in this game, maybe. It's different. Peter Parker, why call so much pre with suited cards if it's so hard to hit flushes? Because one of the added benefits of the flush, of, of having two of a suit, is not simply the likelihood increase of you actually making a flush, but it also allows you to realize your equity more often when you flop a flush draw, okay? So you don't even have to hit it to make it more valuable. Like, you have queen jack, it comes six, seven, ten with two hearts. All right, well, you get to play because you have queen jack of hearts. And you wouldn't normally, you'd fold, but what if a queen or a jack wins? So now you have that added bonus value because you have a hand that can get there. Okay, we have the nuts right now. I'm gonna go ahead and bet small. All right. That's a flop that smashes us, not him. Nobody came. We've got the Broadway. 31 remain. How many actual chips do we have? 500K stack, boom, boom, boom.
it's a, it's a concept that's true in regular hold'em too. Being suited, so having king jack suited versus king jack off, you're gonna get to the river a lot more often than suited. And that's a good thing. So you're gonna realize the full equity of the hand where you're not as gonna be able to do that as much when it's off suit. Just because you can't get to the river. You can't just call with king jack random when it comes like eight six deuce. But if it comes eight six deuce with two hearts, right? Whether you hit the flush or not, you can also win by catching a king or a six. So you're realizing the equity of the hand more so than if you just had king jack off. I don't know. That should explain it, I think. Doo doo. Doo 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 doo. -do. 20 to win, 26. Not quite enough with the queen eight opposite. Gonna have to pass, bro. King queen, pocket jacks. Needs a king or a queen now only. Wow. How'd that happen? Jack's held. Okay. Looks like we are down to a new table. All right, we got Otomor Lavda. Let's take a look. A couple titles here. He's got 3 million in earnings here. 3.1. Promo King. 444. Michael Zhang. I think he beat us last year in the uh, heads up in the quarterfinals, quarterfinal, I think, 2.7. Dario, of course, we, we talked about. Judd Trump, he's got 2.6 million in earnings here. He's got three spring festival titles, one super millions. Okay, so we are down to five tables of six. 30 left, 20, make the money. Let's focus in now. Fuck the chat. Come on. King six against queen ten. What happened? He bet called. Let me see. I wanna I wanna see that hand. Check the hand history. Take a look. River. So the flop went. Okay, call. San Martino bet. No, no. He bet the queen ten. Chick chick turn. Oh. Wow. Sick. Oh, king six, that's why. He had a full house. Wow, so he bet called with the queen, did Michael Zhang against Dario. Huh. Bet called. Interessant. Interessant. I don't know about that one. I don't know that that's a good play from Michael Zhang there. To bet the queen and call off, I think he's probably supposed to just check. It's a little too thin. Like, what are you really trying to get called by? Are you trying to induce a fucking raise with Queen Ten, hoping he does that? Like, hmm, maybe a little too loosey goosey there, Michael Zhang. Jack Ten is not regarded as the best starting hand. I know you guys keep saying that, and it's no less true. It's no more true than it was when we started. Pocket Aces is the best hand. Jack Ten is not the best hand. Okay, Aces is a favorite over. Any two cards. Jax isn't even a favorite over Jack Queen, Jack King, Jack Ace, King Jack, Jack Ten, uh, Queen Ten, King Ten, Ace Ten. Like, no. It's a good hand, mind you. But it is not regarded as the best hand. Here. We haven't had Aces yet. And I'm like, oh, you know what? We haven't had yet. It's Aces. And now we do. This is a trappable spot. Let's see, nobody's that short. All right, let's go to up to eight big blinds. And if Autumn decides to jam, we obviously snap call. First time we've had aces. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, you know, because you're going to get aces a lot more hands, less cards. And this is our first after, I don't know, almost five hours of play. 
Most power of the play. All right, go ahead. Go all in with your ace king. We'll, we'll flip a coin. Doo doo. Doo 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 doo. Doo 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 doo. Doo doo doo. Look at that. He's only played 22% of hands. All right, now this is just going to be. Okay, bet call it off. It's a pretty good flop for us. I mean, he may have a king, king, queen, king, jack type hand. Probably doesn't have a six or a seven in his hand, right? Could have eight, nine, which is okay because we blocked two of his straight cards, which is an ace, right? Because aces makes this, would make him a straight. So we'll take it. It's a really good flop. What we didn't want to see is like 10 jack, queen jack kind of shit. But king seven, six when you have aces, he doesn't have pocket kings, probably, so... So that's the thing. He won't have king seven or king six ever. He won't have pocket sixes or pocket sevens. He literally cannot have the best hand there, no matter what. All he can have really to continue is eight, nine, king, queen, king, jack, king, 10. That's it. There's no other hands. So when you take out the deuces through fives, you can also narrow people's ranges down to that, right? So in that spot, like I know exactly what the fucking guy can't have. So my aces are golden, golden. Boom 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 All right, we are nine away. Let's take a look at the lobby. See what these shoddies look like. So there's actually, what, 27 left? <coughs> 28 left, so there's plenty of stacks that are 50 annies or less. And again, 50 annies, you kind of get it in. Average is 88. Anties. We've got almost double that sitting pretty fourth out of 28. I was joking, Joshua Plop. You don't want to have the worst hand. I was kidding. I don't know. I thought that was obvious. But uh, I mean, but the bottom line is the worst hand or whatever you want to call it wins a lot more often than it doesn't hold them. So ace queen versus king 10 suited. Ace queen's king 10's the worst hand, right? But it's still 47%. So how much how much worse is it? King six. Nah. Do 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 Oh, is that happening, Colin Capone? People telling me I don't know what I'm doing. People that have never played the game before. <laughs> That's funny. I don't, I'm, I'm past reading it because it's just, there's no point, you know? No point for me. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. What is the bracelet worth if you win it? Well, this one's going to be worth 170000 169 to be exact. Well, not to be close to exact. But. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, this is a bad hand. If everybody folds to me, though, I would have to limp with that piece of cheese because you pretty much have to limp in the last position against the blind hand. You have to limp like everything. Or raise, not fold. Right? Because all you need is 14% equity total. That's not hard to do in this fucking game with two cards. And of course, you have to fade getting raised, but you know, it all comes into the 14%. Mm -mm. And you're also going to limp some strong hands too. Doo -doo. Set, set the trap. Holy smokes. 
Does pocket sixes beat pocket aces in short deck? No, pocket aces is pocket aces. The ace can only be used, or only as a five, when it's being used for a straight. Okay. Otherwise, it's just an ace, like good old-fashioned ace. It just has an extra power, which can also be a five, to make specifically a nine high straight. Mm -hmm. Michael Zhang and Dario Sammartino are going to mix it up. Boom, 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 This could be a bluff raise if they all fold. Well, not a green bluff. Make it five with this hand. If somebody limps, we limp behind. If somebody raises, we fold. Mm -hmm. Yep, fold. How does Phil Ivey winning in short deck all the time? Because there's skill in this game, guys. I right, got some messages. Jack-10, okay. We talk about the Jack-10, the Jack-10. It's the best band. It's okay. It's okay, yo. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It makes every straight. 7, 8, 9. 8, 9, queen. Queen, king, king. King, king, king. Ace, ace, six. Very few flops you totally whiff with Jack-10. That'll be one of them. Ace, ace, six. Not our flop. All right. Five out of the money. All right, Kenny R. We'll do our best to snap one off. 25 players remain. We got a shot. My buddy Phil Ivey just this morning over in Cyprus, the Super High Roller Bowl. He won himself a short deck this morning. He's a short deck guru. I certainly talk strategy with the guy. He's... Uh, Still the goat in my book. Mm -mm. All right, interesting. So seven against some stacks. I have an okay hand. Um, I don't close the action, which is not good because Dario could be limp jamming. So if it was queen 10 suited, I would call, but queen nine, it's a little more problematic. It's not quite as good of a hand, so I'm gonna actually fold it. 
right? Queen 10 suited much, much better than Queen 9. Much, much better. See? <laughs> I saved myself fucking seven B, seven B, six BBs. You got to worry about that under the gun. Under the gun limp doesn't mean, oh, well, they're just limping. They must not have anything. They're going to limp there with Ace King, all their big hands in first position. Speaking of Ace King, this could be a nice little limp trap against my boy Dario, who likes to get frisky. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a limp trap. All right, we're going to set the trap here for my boy. Go ahead, raise Dario. Good luck. Mm. Holy shit. You know how hard it is to make a fucking flush? Do you have any idea how hard it is to make an actual flush and move the nut flush right on the flop? And we got up against fucking a dead blind hand. Maybe he has jack six, jack nine. Who the fuck knows? Oh, wow, he's betting big. That's good for us. Okay. All right, sweet. Now maybe he has a full house. That'd be fantastic news, right? If he has a full house here, like nine, six, jack nine, we beat it because we have a flush. There's like only hand that beats us is nine, nine. He has four fucking nines, which he doesn't have. He could have. If he does, oh my God, what a beat. So the great news is you flop a flush. You don't give a shit if he's got a fucking full house. All right. Do that. I'm going to check raise all in on the river. I don't think he calls a ton with hands that he wouldn't bet himself. I hope he has queen nine or some shit. All right, he did not go for it. What do you have, a jack? 10-7. He had nothing. I'm going to give him a whole hee-hee. You suck. <laughs> you suck. I suck. I was setting the trap. My Dario San Martino, why you no bet? You have nothing. A ten high with a flush draw. And you check, you check, you check. Next time bet, you have to bluff sometime. It's short deck. Come on. Come on. Buona fortuna. <laughs> Give him a little snap cam. Come on, Dario. You don't bet for me. Do 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 King nine suited. Four out of the money. I'm gonna go ahead and raise this one into fold. Oops, what the hell? Yeah, bet 17.5. What am I doing? Mandario San Martino, why you not bet? You have nothing. You're 10 high with a flush draw. And you check, you check, you check. Next time bet, you have to bluff some. Next time bet. <laughs> Next time bet. <laughs> am I crazy? <laughs> Judd Trump asks from Hong Kong, are you crazy? All right, if Bajikowski jams, we're fucked. Okay, that's a, that's a flop that uh, is a problem. Dario can have 10 jack. You can have, oh, well, we're going to just check once again. <laughs> Depending on the size, we could be check folding. I know, I know. Crazy to think you check fold with top pair. The guy says, well, here is... All right, so against that size, wake up my kids. <laughs> Say sorry to them. All right, 10. Well, I'm just going to fucking fold here. This is a weird spot. Against half pot. Now nah, I'm just going to fucking fold. There's just way too much to fight on that turn and river. We would have made kings and nines and probably won. But it's very difficult on that board to hang on for three streets, two, three streets. So give them a lot of credit there. You fold a big hand.
I'm back. So the king nine, obviously, I had a break time to, to, to think about that hand. Um, that I just it's very I think it's I think I like the fold, especially against ten against a smaller bet size into seventeen. Like small, I have to probably peel, but against big, well, think about his range there, right? Pocket tens is there. Sure, jacks. He's not going to three bet me with jacks or tens. He's just going to flat those hands. Um, same with nines, probably. Also eight nine, ten jack, which. Of course, is you know a hand that he's always going to play. Could have a six suited too. Could have uh... so so you factor all that in, right? With the fact that like, what turn card am I going to be happy about if I check call for ten? What 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 card am I going to see that's like, oh sweet? As it turned out, it came good, queen and a king. But if he bets turn again, I'm probably folding there, right? So because my hand does not do well with the run out, I just fold it. A little on the tighter side, sure, but I still really like it in this spot when we're right on the bubble too, right? So I don't know if Dario cares too much about bubble schmubble, but I think uh, it's still, like ICM's a thing, right? It's not just gonna be like, woo, YOLO, off of 85 bigs or antis. I am actually really close to the point where I could start just bullying, right? Four out of the money. The problem is the table. Michael has a big stack. Two to my left. Dario's gambalero, right? Let's see, how short are the shorties? We got guys with, well, there's only three guys, four guys under 40. All right, what do we got to raise here? All right, I can fold there. I see M implications playing a role right now. I think Autumner likely going to be doing some tanking, sitting on 24. King 10 off, not quite good enough out of position against an aggressive good player like Michael Zhang. Close to hand for hand, I would imagine. All right, so what is it? What just happened now? The blinds went up. Okay, that's good, kind of. So blinds went up, which means now you're looking at Otter's the short stack with 21, Lucas Greenwood, 21, Dennis Chauvin, 21, Sam Greenwood, all the green ones on the bubble, 32, SC player, 45, so all right. Interesting. Interessant situation. Maintenant. <laughs> Judd Trump pissed. That's funny. Judd Trump just saying yo, YOLO. Yo freaking low. So Dario is supposed to just fold a ton there. He's supposed to fold a lot of hands because of the ICM situation. Woody, I don't know, man. Dario, he doesn't need the money that bad, right? But if he's trying to play to win money, that's what he's supposed to be doing. Dario is playing more hands than everybody, although that's a limited sample. 133. Well, look at this. So now you got Michael Zhang playing bully. So what is the question is, what would I call with here for 120 correctly? Actually supposed to fold kings, which means only aces. That's if I'm playing smart ICM poker. I'm not going to fold kings against Michael Zhang. I'm not going to fold ace king against him. Fuck it. YOLO. But I am going to fold queen jack. So as, he's, as the chip leader at the table now, Michael gets to be kind of bullyish. And that's okay. All right, see how he's just jamming every fucking hand now? He's picking up seven, 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 forcing these guys who are all short. This is what you see now on the bubble. Michael Zhang is doing it. I can't do it now because I'm second in chips to him, and I can do it when he folds, but... All 
All right, Autumn definitely taking his time, which makes sense. He is the short stack. Michael Zhang. This is going to take a little bit. That's going to take a bit, even though it's short deck, right? Like you'd think, oh, everybody's all in every hand. But because it's anti only, right? Basically, like all the short stacks have a lot of time to wait, and they are going to wait for each other. Because you're talking about $9,000 of real money for just waiting out, you know, a few spots. Now, well, the question is, is Michael going to decide to try to go bonkers against me? Because he could. He could apply pressure on me, but I'm not the guy to do that against because I'm not concerned. But I assume, so if you're watching Michael Zhang, I mean, you play your game, good luck, but like, I'm not just bowing down to your positional advantage or, you know, because of the chip stacks. Um, but yeah, you do you, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna get it in, we'll get it in, it's fine. So, and I'm not bluffing, that is not a bluff. That is legit, I'm not here for the min cash. So I'm just gonna limp though. I'm limp folding the queen jack. If Michael decides to do it, he might. Might just go bonkers. Yeah, see? He's doing the ICM thing. All right, I guess I gotta get a reasonable hand to call. Queen jack's not a calling hand, even independent of ICM bubble and him jamming two, any two cards. But that's what he's gonna be doing right now. Can't blame him. See what I said? It's kind of a broken game in that way. Because like on the bubble, the big stack just gets to play every single hand and everyone else is just like, in theory, supposed to fold. Impersonation of Phil Ivey phone call. It's been a while. Yeah, see, he's just jamming, jamming, jamming. Because he knows Bajikowski has to have really, really strong hand to call. And even when he does get called, so what? It's short deck. Like I said, broken game in that regard. Short stacks now, 18, 17, bigs. Hmm. We do have to be mindful though of uh, what he's doing right now, Michael. And, um, you know, how to explain how to adjust to that. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be sloppy. You know? We have to be mindful of, like, all right, when we limp, he's going to be jamming a ton. So, if we pick up a big hand, we limp, and we expect him to jam a lot. So when we have one, we'll snap it off and go for it. And we're not going to limp as often with the shit. So, basically, our limping range, we're just going to strengthen a little bit more. Because there's no point in putting in one and going, oh, I wonder, I'll see the flop. You're not seeing the flop. He's not letting you see a flop. See? Every hand all in. He's going all in every hand. Ottomar actually, he shouldn't be worried. He should be the one playing. Because he's the shortest in the entire tournament. And there's four left to get to the money. And they're not, I mean, they're also smart players. So in that spot, when you are the shortest of them, it's really on you to gamble. Because they can wait you out. They can ante, you know, they can ante out. All right. So again, this is a perfect example of a hand that we would limp, but with Michael doing what he's doing, it's just gonna fold the nine ten because it's marginal anyway, six handed. But we know what Michael's doing, so we're just gonna save a chip. Oh, Dario came. Hmm. Will Michael keep doing it? So at some point, Michael's got to worry, like, all right, shit, are they fucking with me? Are they trapping me? You know? So he's a smart guy, too. I don't 
don't blame him. Autumn taking his time, of course. Oh, he's doing it. Okay. So as I was saying, because he's the shortest, he doesn't have the luxury of being like, all right, I'm going to wait people out. They're all too smart. You know, all the guys left, no. Okay, well, no. I'll wait for you to do it. If you double up, okay, my turn as the shorty. And besides, we're still four from the money. So that's quite a ways. He has to outlast four people or three people. Three people? Yeah. Ace king, king queen, yours truly at the 9-10. Oh, look at that. Oh, full house. All right. Oh, we had all the full house. Boom. But again, you know, we're not calling the jams with Dario limping behind, all that. No. Do do. Do 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 do. All right, so Ottomer's okay now. Look at this guy. Boom. So he's essentially forcing his opponents to fucking have aces to call. <laughs> or ace king. I mean, listen, I don't think these guys are that nitty. But if he picks up jack 10 right now, that's fine. What he's doing is fine. Doo -doo -doo. Really going for it. Try to build up all the free chips. All right. So Ottomer's still not in the clear. He's got 33 bigs, which still has him ranked 22 of 24 but gives him a little bit more breathing room, you know? But we'll just chill. You know, we're not in a rush. We'll play. We'll understand what Michael Zhang's doing. And listen, if he keeps doing it, we're basically giving ourselves an opportunity now to get it in pretty good, right? It's going to be hard to get in really good, but like the hands that, we, that you're supposed to fold due to ICM, we're not folding. You know, overall, we might be able to get it in 60-40 against what he's doing, which... It's not a good gamble if you're trying to, you know, squeak in the money, but we're trying to win. So it could be a good opportunity to just pick up a shit ton of chips. So what do we got here? 446 plus... Yeah. Hmm. Remember when I said the game's broken, guys? This is what I mean. Oh, I'm folding. The game is broken in this regard. Should be pot limit before the flop. See, just by folding, we're only losing one ante at a time. So let's say we fold the next 10 hands. We have 100 big blinds or 100 anties. We're not in jeopardy, right? But Michael's really fucking pushing hard. All right, he got called. King, queen, all right, he has a hand. Well, good good for Dario. Dario's like, I ain't falling for that shit. I'm not folding. Oh, and look at that. Like, what did I tell you about playing the best hand? Don't do stuff like that. Don't do the best hands. Ah, oh, chip. They chop it. <laughs> Hmm. Unlucky, but lucky. Bajikowski limping. Okay, so he's saying, "All right, bro. That's not a. That's not no fucking diaper hand. That's not. That's not a. That's not. A, that's not. A, those, those aren't napkins right there. Knowing what Michael Zhang's doing, he's on the button. You know." You've got to imagine Makita is balanced here enough where he's calling often enough where Michael shouldn't feel comfortable just saying, we, unless he gets a hand. If he gets a hand like ace nine suited, ace ten suited, he can just do it anyway. It's fine. Let's see what happens after the bubble bursts. Check out the shit prize pool okay so because i'm just here so it's basically then after the bubble bursts 16 to 20 then the pay jumps are nothing like one thousand two three thousand dollars not nothing i'm not being that saying that hey, look at this he's doing it right he's still doing it michael going for it how about jakowski are you limp calling or not what are you doing icm consideration how good is your can how much bulls 
Do you have? Ah, oh, wow, you unfolded. Okay, Dario, are you coming? I don't think, uh, see, again, that we've adjusted, right? By like, again, the 9 10 fold, even though we would have won that one. And he folded that one. But we've adjusted to understanding that, like, you're just really often going to be facing an all in test because the game's broken, because Michael Zhang is an aggressive player with a big stack. So here we go with the Queen Jack suited. This one's too strong to fold, so. But this would be the limp fold, too. Would Zhang do this? I think we can limp fold here against Zhang. Actually, against anyone. But actually, I can raise this one too. I'm gonna just raise coming in. Yep, we're gonna raise. We're gonna make it five. Raise. Oh, Michael Zhang might still fucking move in. And then we fold. Actually, I fold against Dario, too. All right. Michael's hang fucking folded. Against Bajikowski, we have to call, I think. Which would suck, but I think we have to call. Ace-King, we're doing fine against. All right. Phew. Fuck. Just pick up a pot. Thank goodness. It's so scary. Stepping out. I mean, I don't want to finish on the bubble, you know what I mean? It's not fun. It feels like a waste of a day, but it's not going to... No, Dapper Dave, no. I think he's doing the right thing. Okay, it's a good question. He says, I understand the concept. But do you think Zhang is risking too many chips? No, I think he's doing good because he's just going to get called so rarely. And when he does, he's always going to have decent equity. Right? So look how many times he picks up seven, seven big lines, seven big lines. If he does it three in a row, right? He's just picked up 21, 21 annies. Okay? And then whatever. If he plays another hand against the guy where he's a dog, he's already got the 20 annies and he's still going to have 40%, 35%, 40%. That's the way the game plays. So I like what he's doing. Now, call all in is different. He's not going to call Dario, you know, which is interesting. I wonder, Dario must have ace, queen, ace, jack. Because I think if he's super strong, he probably limps. If he has like aces, kings, ace, king. But instead, he's jamming. Otomar Ladva. Maybe he has a decision for real this time. Still on the bubble, we got... Nope, not gonna fucking play sixes. We don't wouldn't play sixes anyway. So whatever. It's literally like zeros. Two zeros, sweet. Two zeros. Blinds just gone up, did they? Mm -hmm. Smallest stack has 17.8 antis. Not a whole lot. What do you know? Zang's all in. Okay. Okay, see, this is what I told you. The game's broken in that regard, right? The ante right now is 5K, so he's picking up. Look at that. He's picking up 35K extra for free. Boom. It's worth it what he's doing, promise. Because again, because the equities. If this was regular holding, you can't just do that. Because when you get called, you're dead, you know? Here they have aces, so what? I have jack 10. Good for you. I have queen jack, I have queen 10. No big deal. All right, what are we doing here? Queen 9 offsuit. Devil's end, yeah. Smallest stack now, just 12 antis. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, Michael. Okay, Michael. Okay, 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 man. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see you doing it. You're doing it. Second in chips, Michael. 
going boom 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 let's go back to my room and we can go all in again and we can go all in Michael's wearing flag is Thailand same with Makita someone asked that Estonia so lot Latva and then we got Hong Kong <laughs> all right jackton suited fucking plenty of hand all right see so he's dead now wait wait two seventy yes it's two thirds semi wide 67 percent it's a club so it's not a queen all right it's a seven so he made the flush yeah what the fuck all right so a little hit there for zangy to jackton suited but again you can't blame him for doing that with Fucking Jack 10 suited. Just so you see, we will look at the equities on that one again. Specifically, all right. Ace Queen, 50.15%. Jack 10 suited, 49.85. So you're talking about as close to a literal coin flip as you can get with Jack 10 suited. But notice, Jack 10 suited is not better than Ace Queen, heads up. But it does pretty damn good. Picking up some hands. That's a good hand, Jack Ten suited. Now, Otomar, who was down to 13, he's no longer, you know, the guy in jeopardy. Right now, we're looking at, let's see who's at the bottom. Still 24 players. All right, you got Lucas Greenwood on 10, Sam Greenwood on 30. They're, they're bringing up 23 and 24, and they're going to knit it up for us. Then you got Makita, actually, who's in 22nd. And Denny. Yeah, so, so the Greenwoods, oh, there's one guy down to six bigs now, or six, six annies. Must have lost the pot. Okay, so Makita's in there in the bottom. You are in the bottom two. Do, do, do. Bottom four, bottom five. No, Michael is playing properly. But you, that's the thing. He's got chips, so he's supposed to be doing exactly this. Going all in, and everybody else is just supposed to be kind of folding for the most part. Judd Trump in the tank. Either A... See, these bubbles fucking take a long time. Bubbles gonna take a while. Queen eight this time. Queen eight against eight. This could he could get he could might have caught some trouble here. Uh -huh, uh oh, Michael Zhang got a little, too, a little frisky, and Dario says no, no, no. So Dario doubled through him. All right, maybe we'll uh, you know maybe we'll have Michael uh, slow down just a little bit now. Still not going to play two fucking sevens though.
Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> Michael don't give no fucks, man. He's like, bro, all of it. See, that's why I didn't fucking limp. No, that's not the only reason. I also had fucking piece of shit hands, sevens. 23 players are remaining, okay. I'm gonna raise this one. I'm gonna make it five, and I'm actually gonna fold to a jam. I mean, I don't think they're gonna jam with any two at this point. All right. Oh, Zhang wants to do it? Zhang does it, we're, uh, we're gonna fold. I mean, even though he's nuts. Oh, fuck me. And this guy fucking losing. He really just gives zero fucks. Holy shit, bro. He just don't give any fucks whatsoever. Problem with ace-queen, right, is we're dead against ace-king, we're dead against aces, kings, which you could have, and we're just fucking 50-50 against king-10. Oh, boy. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna fold. All right, no more of that. Jesus, Jesus, fucking ace-queen on the flop. All right. Nope, he's fucking steaming now, I guess. Yeah, I mean, ace-queen is just not good enough. You know, like... All right, so it's him. He's nuts. But he can actually have a good hand too, right? And the problem is, like, what hands do we have really fucked? King, queen, queen, jack, queen, ten. Kind of. It's like not a lot of hands, especially when we have a queen in our hand, right? So if he just had king, jack, sure, we'd be getting the right price against that. But factor in the fact that sometimes he's going to get a good hand too. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... So the question is, what would we call off there with? I would call off with ace-king. Call off with aces, kings, queens. Yeah, that's probably it. Bajikowski all in and called. Ace-king against ace-king. All right. Oh, there's a heart draw. A free roll. Free roll if it's a red and round. Nope. Okay. Let me guess. Zang's all in? I can't even see, but I'm guessing. Oh, what do you know? It's Zangy. Zangy lost those chips. He's like, fuck it, man. I'm still doing it. I don't know. Dario going to fucking call him off or not? Dario's baller. He ain't scared. away from the money. The ante's going up to 6,000 in two minutes. Wow, 
Why fold sevens? Sevens suck. Okay, we're 22 away. Sevens is bad. Sevens is not good. Sixes is not good. They're like the lowest cards in the deck. What are you hoping that they have when you have sixes or sevens? One napkin? One, they got missed, missed dealt and they time out? They disconnect? I don't know. Okay, two out of the money. So we will pause now for these breaks. Bajikowski is the chip. Oh, Lucas Greenwood busted. So we've got Bajikowski and Dennis Chilarin on 30 antis. And that's going to go down shortly because the blinds or the uh, ante is going to go up. Broken game, though. Broken game because of the because of the no limit pre. Should be pot limit. Then the people could start seeing flops. Here's the thing you guys don't get. You don't what you, trapping with ace queen? It's like what trapping what? What are you trapping? You, you, oh, you're trapping a hand that has 50, 45, 48, 47 percent equity. That's not trapping. That's ooh, trapping is aces, basically. <laughs> Where he's like, all right, you know, he's got ace seven. But you're not trapping with ace queen. It's not a it's not that good. All right, relax, chat. Okay, what are we on? 22 left. We're on the button. Queen eight off. All right. Michael Zhang's all in. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a big fucking jump. And chips. We lost a lot. A big, big. So that went up. All right. Fuck off. If everybody's rooting for Michael to get dealt, doubled through. And then be the bubble boy. I know it. <laughs> I can feel it in in your bones. You're hoping that he goes, he busts on the bubble. So, all right. Okay, we've got three players or four players, thirty or less. Judd Trump, thirty-one. All right. Then we're doing fine. Sixty-four. That's the average. Average is, we're just average now. Ace Jack. Not gonna call a jam from Michael Zhang. Will he do it? I don't know. Oh, he's making it seven now. That's interesting. It's probably a good idea actually at this stage now for him. Mm -hmm. All right. Ah, fuck it. I don't care if we bubble. We bubble, we bubble. He's got to respect my flat here somewhat. Or he doesn't have to do anything. He's fucking Michael Zhang. <laughs> he can go nuts. Benny, too. Do that. Can't call a check jam, really, so fuck it. We'll just check one time. Well, that's a card. Well, now he's, he's got to be worried about a couple hands that I could have. Like, if he's on air, if he's on fucking random cards, like, that's not a board that he's going to look at to bluff through. Because a bunch of the hands that I call his raise with are like Ace Queen, King Jack, Jack 10. Happen to have ace jack. All right. Yeah, he doesn't have ace queen, so. Well, let's see. Okay. 
Well, if he has a six, that'd be pretty fucking dirty. If he just has like fucking a six. He might just go all in, and you know, Michael. Wow, 6.9? Well, I guess I can call that bad. He's just gonna show up with a king here too often, but that's all okay. What do you got? The fuck is this fucking guy? He could win with a six or a nine. That was annoying. That was fucking annoying. That was annoying. Bam. <laughs> Queen, he doesn't win. Nine, he can win with. Because nines and sixes, or three sixes. So he had two five outs. Five wins in the deck. All right. Five outs is enough. Oh, he's really tanking. I mean, it's, it's already hand for hand, so you've you got to imagine Makita's actually really thinking about this one. Maybe he's looking to see if anyone else goes broke at another table. I'm not sure. I think we lost the player, Galen Hall. So we might be down to 21, if that's true. Are we? Oh, no. It still says... No, 21. Okay, so we were literally one out of the money. So now it's like lighting money on fire. You know, playing marginal spots. So Makita sitting on 20. The other guy on 20. And we've got Zhang. Oh, wow, Makita's all in. So here we'll be rooting for Zhang to win so that we can just be over the bubble and play poker again and, and not allow him to just do what he's doing. What, Audemars thinking about coming? That would be crazy. Must have a hand. Unless he's just... I don't know. Wow. Well, 
all aces. That's not surprising. And that'll do it, right? Dead. Drawing dead with the tens. What did I have? Ace nine. He says ship it. What is he saying? Ship it. <laughs> ship it to him. <laughs> okay. Makita. Up there now. No longer in jeopardy. So we got well, no, we got plenty of guys on twenty-five to twenty-seven bigs. Or not bigs, but antis, but bigs, whatever you want to call it. Alright. I'm gonna limp. I'm gonna fold, but I'm limping. <laughs> I'm gonna limp this one. Yeah. King Queen, again, can't call with this one either. All right, buddy. Take it down. All right. I mean, I, yeah, I don't, I don't love the bet with the jack on the jack ten six flop again that spot, uh, because then it's really hard to call. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could do that with king queen, ace queen, queen nine, jack ten. It's just, it's just very difficult. I mean, again, unless you're just full comfortable punting on the bubble. And like I said, we're we're playing with other people's money, right? This is the first bubble, the first bullet. I have other people who bought a piece of me here. So as much as I'm like willing to go for it, I don't want to just make a bad decision financially for those people that had a piece at this point, right? We want to make sure that we lock them up a profit, the 50 or so investors who got a piece. And really, we're just playing correctly, you know, in terms of like having to fold these hands from a financial perspective. But again, it does affect your chances to win a slight degree. Although this game, like I said, ace queen is not really a trap hand. Top pair on a jack high board is not really a trap hand. These are not, these are just marginal spots. All right, Michael Zhang's all in. Watch, boom. Yep. Completely broken game in terms of ICM. I wish they would just listen and actually make it, you know, across the board, for tournaments especially, just make it pot limit before the flop. You know, if you did that, now you can only make it to pot, so people would see flops more, you can't just go all in. Couple got three guys on 20, Autumn are on 24. I don't give a fuck. Let's get it in. Come on. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so annoyed now. <laughs> All right. You're not going to call a limp jam. Don't bother because he's doing it. Oh, he had an ace. That was 100% going all in.
do no fucking test to come back. I'm fucking on a private plane, whatever. Figuring out the return to U.S. Apparently, you got to get a test. Make sure you're not infected, which there's zero chance we are. We don't leave the house here in Cabo. That was obvious. Yeah, that was obvious. He gives zero fucks, Michael Zhang. <laughs> Look at this fucking, we had a straight flush drop. Oh, we would've made a fucking flush. There's no way we can call over call anyway. Fuck. Sheesh, it's hard to make a flush. Four guy. We're now actually 16 of 21. There's one, two, three, four, five guys shorter than us. And at this point, we got to probably wait them out. Some of you watching are like, just gamble. And other users that are watching that have a piece, you're like, don't be a fucking idiot. I want to make my money. Right? Right, to block people. What did he just fucking bust him? Hmm. But the King Seven? Alright. We're in the money now. Sweet. He's still doing it, huh? Now you're getting some action. Okay. All right, now he's gonna make a flush? Nope. Oh, straight. Okay, so those of you that bought a piece of me in this fucking thing, you've just m doubled your money, basically. Congratulations to you. And now it is time, of course, to try to win this thing. The average is 60 big, 60 stacks. We've got half that, plenty. It's anybody's ball game at this point. Um, even though we're short, it's like everyone is, basically, except for a few. All right. Four guys have over 100 bigs in the rest. Fighting. I don't know why she's all about 10 a.m. Why 10 a.m. when it's you say 9 to 5? Why 10 a.m.?
Okay, if nobody opens, we'll jam it. If somebody opens, I'm just fold, fucking folding the tens. I'm not kidding. I don't like to. It doesn't matter. Bubble schmubble. It's just a piece of shit. But it's good enough to jam with. And pray they all fold. Oh, he's limping. Oh, this is a tough spot. Right, and then we're going to fold to a jam. Unless it's Zhang. Fuck Zhang. Maybe we'll call him. <laughs> Is he just going to keep doing it even though the bubble burst? That would be nuts. Give zero fucks whatsoever. Oh, he's re oh, he disconnected. No, no wonder he's not all in yet. Disconnected player. We just need a 10. No, it's not a 10. We're dead. Okay. I don't know if he bets here, he could easily have like, see, this is five, six, eight as well. So seven, nine is a straight. SC player, what did you limp with? All right, you limped with something. Aces, ace something. Are you guys getting it in? What are you doing here? I thought you didn't limp with the 7-9. Might have fucking pocket aces. SC player may have the aces. Three of them. It's reasonable. Michael Zhang sitting out. After the bubble, he's like, I'm done. I'll be back. We are in the money once again. Shortish, but listen, the 24 antis. That means we can see 24 hands, right? Obviously, you don't want to just uh, go down to one chip, but you know, you're not in a rush to get it in. Jacks against King Jack suited. Okay. And looks like the Jacks are holding. What did I have? I had a king, right? Yeah, king and a six. Okay. Yeah, and the jacks hold. So Autumn are now down to five. Antis. Still anyone's game. Break time. All right, let's relax, regroup, get ready. Oh, perfect timing for him while he's disconnected.
All right. Short deck. Step one, we're in the money. Step two. Step two. Run it up. Queen got a jack. Wouldn't mind if everyone folds. Bottom or calls, it's fine too. For four. But picking up seven, going from 24 to 31. Pretty nice score. Okay, he's calling for four. Makes sense. What do you got? Let's see if we can beat that hand. Ace king. All right, big deal. 50 50. Okay, he needs an ace king or a jack. All right, not of spades. All right, ace, king, jack, no spade. Fuck, spades! Oh, I made the flush. Oh, I saw the king, and I was like, no! <laughs> All right, sweet. All right, we're going to run that one just to show you. Or not run it, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you exactly. Ace, king, his ace, king against my queen, jack. The odds were 56-43. So he was a favorite, 56-43. So basically just a coin flip. For, short, for small chips, he only had four bigs. So not quite a double for us, but that's okay. Dario Samartino keeping one for lunch. <laughs> one Annie left for lunch. Am I really 16 of 16 even after winning that pot? That's crazy. I guess people went broke. Yep. I didn't even rabbit hunt. Who cares? Whatever. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, everyone folds and just fucking jam it in there. There's a money jump, though. Sorry, guys, we're not going to go crazy for a thousand bucks. Because, yeah, well, I mean, I'm going to fold, but I would, you know, be the aggro player and jam. We're going to have lots of fucking jamming going on now. Ace eight suited. He's king. All right, they're going to chop it. See? I know. I feel it. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Feel it. I know. I know what's coming. Jack eight. That's going to be a fold over here. So yeah, we are in 16 of 16. But it's very close with a couple players here. Dario, you see us 39. And the average is 77. So, you know, a double back there. Zhang, you gonna keep doing it? No. Zhang, a Zhang. Okay, what's going on here? Zenga Zeng against Budzikowski. Pick up some big hands now, huh? We haven't had a lot of them in the last hour or so. It's like this has kind of been a theme for us where 
right around this stage when we get deep in a tournament. Been going card dead in the PLOs, came 19th, 23rd. So hopefully now is our time where we start to pick up big hands and they hold and go on to victory. 15 left. We made the pun at the pay jump. Dun, dun, dun. We made the pay jump. Congrats to those that have a piece. All right, there's another pay jump in four spots we're not worried about. Certainly folding the 7 8 off. Dario San Martino with an all-in and a win. What do we got? Not an all-in. Nope. Nope. Not a speculative spot for this. I mean, a 6-7 suited, but it's 6-7. <laughs> it's like the two, literally the deuce three suited, you know? Zhang just YOLO still. Okay. Strange, huh? No longer ICM. He's just still doing it. Must have some hands. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe not. All right. We cannot call a jam with the Jack 8. Hanging around. Where did the flop come? Let's see. Huh. An 8. All right, let's get that rush going. Come on, boom. Nope, <laughs> that's it. Let's make it easy. Queen six off or aces. I'll, I'm happy with that. I'm actually gonna fucking fold this in this spot. Yeah, I am. All right. Decision's pretty easy right now, right? Get good cards, put chips in middle. Get bad cards, don't put chips in middle. Wow, flop the flush against three aces. We can't win. Three aces is... Oh, he needs an ace. Sick fucking hand. Three aces. Sick hand, right? Jack six suited. He limped that hand, right? But yeah, I think he limped, right? Because jack six suited would never be in there. He limped for sure, yeah. Three flop call, yeah. Seven can he... <coughs> Okay, let me pick up some of these hands. These, oh, look at this fucking guy. Michael Zhang can't lose this one. There you go. <laughs> Boom, bye-bye. Needs an ace to chop. Nope. Man, that best hand don't win. Come on now. We need to get in with the worst hand. Have that win. Okay, 15 left. 14 left now. So we are at a four fucking handed table. With Wacko, Jacko, and Blacko. Wacko, Jacko, Blacko. 20 antis over here. Doesn't sound like much, but still enough, yo. 
The average is 77 antis. We've got 20. Queen 10, ace 9. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, what, what do you think is going to happen there? Yeah, what is it? We need a seven now because a seven would make him a straight. Because eight, because the ace counts as a five, he needs a seven or an ace, and it's a ten. So what happens now? I miss my button, I think, right? Because we don't play three-handed, or do we? No, we don't. Thirteen left. Oh yeah, we do play three-handed for a hand. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to call it off here. Go ahead, Michael. Good luck. Can't fold. Not against this guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Any two zang a lang, a zang a bang. Oh, he just fucking limped? Nah. Nah, you must have real fucking shit if you just limped. Zangy, you trying to limp, bro? After all these jams? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he tried to fucking limp. Yeah, right. No way. We're going to try to limp. <laughs> Never mind. All right, we got 13 left. We are no longer the shortest. Somebody shorter than us, apparently. Sam Greenwood, barely. King seven. All right, easy game. Easy decisions. So we are one away from being down to the last two tables. That's a fucking piece of cheese right there, if I ever saw one. I'm not playing the A6. Oh, guys, just play pseudo connectors. You gotta give me one. I believe Zhang, how's he doing? Is he chip leader right now? After all those busts outs, you'd think he should be. Yeah, he's chip leader right now. He is the chip leader currently. Some good cards. Jack eight off. That ain't good cards. Ain't quite good enough. Not quite good enough to get it in against an under the gun Jim at a jam. Let's see what would have come. Oh, two pair. Let's see what else is going on here. 18, 21. Fuck. Come on, man. <laughs> Seven six off shit. To fucking fold this fucking piece of shit. Yeah, can't get in with six seven. Worst hands. Okay, this is a good one. All right, king and a jack. All right, sweet. What's the dealio? Who else is in there? Greenwood doubled. Ace King against Jack 10. All right, there's Jackson 10s. Zhang, of course. Oh, whoa. See, it's never over in this game. He needs 15% Jack or a 10. He didn't hit it. Oh. How'd that happen? I'm so sorry. Wow, Zhang. Un so unlucky. <laughs> Jack 10 suit is a really big hand, though. Love to have that right now, and I do. Essentially, Queen 10 suited. This is good enough. This will be it, yo. Oh, wait. Against the limp, we can just limp. Do I have to jam this? Nope. Let's see a flop first. And there we go. It's good enough. All right. Well, we got a full house. No point in betting, right? 
you know, you're, you're, you know hands, just, hands like dry now. Like, he either has a king, or we win. So there's no even point in betting if he checks. Yeah, there's just no point. Just take our money. Yeah, he has nine high, so sweet. I guess if I would have moved in pre, nah. It's better to take a flop when we can. All right, down to 12. It's kind of nice having six players at the table, less the big blind or the big ante comes around a little bit less often, which is kind of a good thing. We've been hanging tough at the very bottom of the standings for like quite a while, right? Which is all right. We just got to hang in there. Pay jump available for the next bust out of money we don't, whatever, what is it, like 1,500 bucks, 11, 1,150 bucks. Inconsequential, I think even to those that have a piece, you don't really want me to do that, right? Like, oh, you got to go, well, pay jump, pay jump. All right, we are definitely in last right now, but we've been in last for a while. Patience is a virtue, ladies and gents. Hanging tough, carry cat style. Let's get aces. Let's get aces and have them hold. Thank you, corrupted. Zang baby Zang. Yeah, Zang he's doing it. But now he's got a, he's got a new chief at the table, Koboba. 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 Alright, this is it. This is an all-in right here. This is an all-in if I ever saw one. I don't give a shit what Koboba does. We in. In like Flynn. If he limps, we in. If he fucking raises, we in. We just in. Ace Jack. Good luck us. Right? Okay. Boom. Boom. In. Come on, Michael Zang. Call me with King 7. No, don't. <laughs> Very key pot, right? Because now with all those extra out there, you got 7. Picked up 7. So that gives us 7 more hands to look at before we're, we're right back to where we were. Very, very key. Picking up the dead money that's out there. La -da -da -da. Ace is not that good, guys. You don't understand. Like, ace six off, there's no hand where you're, like, in good shape against. They could have queen ten, anything. It's not good. Ace jack, you know, certainly good. We dominate some hands. Ace six don't dominate shit. What is the average? The average is 90 bigs. Wow, that happened, huh? That happened. That sure happened. Bunch of people went broke. So the stacks uh, consolidate. Blinds going up in three minutes. What are they? What are not blinds? I keep saying blinds. Antis. Oh, that's a big jump. The blinds go from 8K to 10K. Skips the 9K. So that takes that'll take a big hit to the stacks. Especially mine. But we got a stack. We got 11 left. Hey, we got the pay jump. Look at that. All right, people. We got the fucking pay jump. Sweet. $11,134 locked up, as you can see over here. Or wait. Yeah. And now, next pay jump is nine. We don't give a shit. That's going to be another what? $1,200. $1,300. All right. We got a limp and we, oh look at this. 
this. We got big, big, big stacks now talking. Ah, he new, new, new sheriff in town, Michael Zhang. Now you got to bow down a little bit to Koboba. Koboba gonna fuck with you now. Ace Jack suited. Hello, hello everyone. I'm Ace Jack. I have Ace Jack suited, and uh, I'm up against cut off for Koboba, and we are all in. Fortnite Pro, Fortnite Pro. If he does it, we in. Three way, I don't give a shit. We're getting it in. Ace Jack suited, come on. All right, he's in. Hmm. Actually, three way we would fold. I'm not kidding. Three way I would fold, but I'm gonna call this. Okay, what do you got? Ace Queen, fuck off. Okay. All right, Jack Diamonds, 50 50. Okay, Queen. Or no, King. King is fine. Chop it up. King, fuck. He's got the heart too. All right. That's not a fucking good card. Ah. Well, such is life. Good game. Good game, everybody. Ace Jack suited. What are you going to do in this spot? All right. 11th place. Close, but no cigar. Yeah. It was a good run. Had a shot. On one bullet. So everybody who had a piece doubled their money plus. Tomorrow, I'm considering playing the main event. We will decide later tonight. That was originally on my schedule to do. Uh, I may change my mind. Let's see about a raid. Who are we going to raid right now? Let's see. Oh, hang on. All right, let's go. What, what is this now? What happened here? Why did it go to D-Mix? Okay, let's see. Who, who do we want to raid right now? All right, we're going to raid Felipe. Why not? Let's raid Felipe. All right, people. It was a pleasure. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm not reading your chat because you don't know what you're talking about. So, <laughs> cheers, y'all. See ya. All right. Raid coming.